Yeah, 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 and you won't stop, and you don't stop, and you won't stop. I'm, 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 I'm a terror since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing ass. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have the tray boots and the deuce boots in my bubble boots. Now I got the Mac in my neck, back lounging black. Smoking sacks up and axe and sidekicks with my sidekicks, rocking fly kicks. Honey's wanna chat. But all we wanna know is where the party at And can I bring my gas? If not, I hope I don't get shot Better throw my vest on my chest Cause niggas is a mess It don't take nothing but front for me to start something Bugging and fucking at niggas like I was fuck hunting Dumbing out just me and my crew Cause all we wanna do is Party and bullshit and party and bullshit And party and bullshit and party and bullshit Welcome, 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 everybody, once again here to the Wingnut Roundup. It is mid-month, mid-April, and I know what a lot of people are going to be saying. They're going to be saying, Jeff, Jeff, what are you doing? What are you doing? The Roundup is supposed to be at the end of the month. That's how we celebrate the end of the month. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Why then? Why, <clears throat> Mr. Holiday? Are we here in the middle of the month? Well, let me tell you, just in case you didn't watch the trailer or you're not caught up on the, the current Jeff lore, as it were, uh, but I have a seasonal job that I do in the summertime where I work for a motorcycle tour company and uh, I take people on motorcycles and show them America. Ah, <sighs> My beautiful, beautiful, fucked up country. And it's a great time. It's a fantastic job. Way too much fun. Now, all of my tours this year are not going to interfere with the roundup, except this one. I leave uh, Wednesday, and I'm going to be going to Tennessee and taking people all around the south of Tennessee, a little bit in Kentucky, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and ending up in New Orleans. And because I will be gone when usually we'd be doing the roundup, we're going to do a mini roundup today. I say mini, I have no long, no idea how long this is going to go. It's probably not going to go three hours. 
We're going to save some wing nuts just in case I can actually do a quick little show for you guys while I'm on the road. We'll see if I can do it. I'm packing up all my gear. I have a new laptop just so I can keep working on YouTube videos while I'm on the road. I'm dedicated. I know you are. This relationship, we're going places, baby. It's going to be fantastic. You and me, mm, uh, amazing. Uh, if you live in any of those aforementioned states, um, I think really only Memphis and New Orleans, I'm going to have any real free time. But if you live in those areas, uh, maybe leave a comment in the roundup and say, hey, I live around there and maybe I will be able to get a, a little bit of time to uh, join people for some drinks. I'm working, so I've got to like try and make it work. But, you know, no promises. No promises. But your boy's on tour. Now, <clears throat> what was... <laughs> Aw, you guys are so sweet in the chat. Hello. So I know it's, it's, very, it's very discombobulating. And also, we're doing this on a Monday. A Monday. Uh, at 3 p.m. my time. So, not the best. So, there's probably not going to be necessarily a lot of people. That's okay. If you're catching this on the replay, that's fine. I just could not, I couldn't, in good conscience, leave you guys without a roundup, even though I'm going to be off having uh, a fun adventure. So, yeah, want to make sure uh, we were going to have some fun. Uh, let's see, what else has been going on? Um, oh, so, last weekend, actually, I wanted to share this with you guys. Last weekend, me and Memory got to go do something special. I wanted to do something special with her before I was going to be gone for a while. What's up, Monday gang? That's right. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Thank you, Nate. Uh, Monday gang. So I wanted to have a little adventure with Memory before we took off, and uh, we got to go to Walla Walla this past weekend and meet her favorite actor of all time, and one of my favorites, too. Uh, check this out. So, uh, as you can see, we uh, met Kyle MacLachlan. Uh, he is the Kwisatz Haderach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, Special Agent Dale Cooper, Port Mayor of Portland, uh, famed, famed uh, actor and fantastic vintner. We got to go to his uh, winery tasting room opening. As you can see, we engaged in combat. That's why I don't have sleeves on this shirt anymore, is it took a lot to... Listen, for, for a man of his age, he is surprisingly strong and spry. It was, uh, it was a, a, a deadly match, if you will. We both came away from it relatively unscathed, but uh, it was an epic fight. No footage. My bad. Sorry about that. You know, But a lovely, sweet, warm man who makes really, really good fucking wine called Pursued by Bear. You love Crispin Glover? I met Crispin Glover once, too. He does this really weird tour uh, where he goes around and he showcases, like, his poetry and his really weird, like, super transgressive movies that he will never release in, on video or in theaters. Sexy Elbows, Doc Holliday. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are they? Oh. Maybe I should pay more attention to my, my elbow gang. Game? Gang? Game. Pfft. I already had some wine before we started. So. If I'm going to New Orleans, I should meet up with Monty. I plan to. If you guys don't know who Hannibal and Monty from Hannibal and Monty Shit Show is, fantastic human beings. Got to hang out with them last year up in Seattle. They came to visit. Um, and uh, me and Monty are definitely going to try and hang out in New Orleans. And if you live in New Orleans, maybe you can hang out with me and Monty. That would be fucking fantastic. I'm going to have a lot of fun. I used to live in New Orleans, so this will be the first time I'm going back in 13 years? Maybe over 13 years? And I miss it, so I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. This is going to be great. Mm. Do you worry about a shortage of wing nuts? Never. Never. Only elbows win. Right now, baby. That's what we got going right now. Um, no, there will always be wing nuts. There will always, always be wing nuts. No matter what. There is no such thing as a wing nut drought. <laughs> you know what there is, though? There is there is a sliding scale of what type of wing nut you're willing to consume, right? 
So the wing nut roundup, like we we try and not necessarily get into certain types of wing nuttery, um, but it, it, some of the wing nuts are actually very prolific, but they're a little bit more political, <laughs> and because of that, I try not to put them on the show uh, necessarily, but it's getting harder and harder because those lines are blurring. As uh, I think I showcased with the whole Cal Jam video, and uh, I will showcase even further in the future. It's, uh, yeah, it's getting, it's getting difficulty. Getting difficulty? Wow. Okay, we're going to take a break on the wine. All right, we're going to take a little break on the wine, and instead we're going to focus on the show. Fuck my balls. All right. Uh, Mickey, thank you again for continuing to be a contributor. Randomness also... Uh, is a contributor. Send me thoughts. I need an 80 on my final two tests to graduate college. One is next Tuesday, and the other is the second. Also wish me luck on my job hunt. Well, good luck to you, Randomness. You have my full support. Proud of you. Proud of you. I wonder what it would take to become the Internet's dad. I mean, like, Pedro Pascal already is the Internet's daddy right now. But I feel like I have a lot to offer, too. I could do, like, motivational videos where I just kind of, like, put on a, a powder blue sweater vest, and I do things like... Hey, champ, I know today didn't go too well. And you know what? That's okay. Because plenty more, they're going to go great. They're going to go awesome. You're going to do great things. Even though you're feeling a little low right now, it's only temporary. I believe in you. I believe in you. I wonder if those would actually like get, get good views. Because, I mean, i got to tell you, there are so many other motherfuckers out there trying to be your dad, but it comes with a price tag and that sort of shit, and I, I, I just cannot fuck with that kind of crap. That is terrible. Terrible. Inhuman, nasty, fucked up garbage. But just maybe some wholesomeness. Some, some affirmations from Daddy Jeff. <laughs> Sounds so fucking weird. All right, anyway. SL says, I've been watching your channel since the Treat stream with Derek and Bundy. That was a great stream. A fantastic fucking stream. Uh, I've been in a shit marriage for the last three years. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. But I'm happy to report I've got rum for the roundup. I'm going to a concert this week with the German metalhead of my dreams. That sounds fantastic. See? Listen. Hey there, champ. I know sometimes it don't always work out. Sometimes you're trapped in a loveless marriage and it just isn't really going to go too well. But you know what? Someday, you're going to get to go to an awesome concert with the hot German metalhead of your dreams. So just hang in there. I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I can be really good at this. I can be really, really good at this. It'd be awesome. All right, anyway, let's get started. Let's have some fun. I've got, uh, I've got a, a, good, a good menagerie here of, uh, of stuff for us to take a look at. First and foremost, of course... <clears throat> If you'd like to get yourself some official holiday swag, <clears throat> like Call Me Muscle Mommy, Antifa Complaint Department, The Wingnut Jesus, and She is Stored in the Balls, my personal favorite, go ahead and go to BrainForceSideEffects.com, BrainForceSideEffects.com for your official Jeff Holiday merch. Also, random shit that Memory puts up there, because she's like, hey, I like this. I want to get that shirt. Maybe somebody else does, too. It's cool. All right. Let's start off with some Frankie Boy. Do you have low testosterone? Boom, right out the gate. Holy shit balls. All right, tell me. Maybe on the mild end of things, you're a little tired, fatigued, not motivated. And then on the more extreme end of things, Ooh. perhaps you're wearing your girlfriend's panties, you're going through her toys in the closet. Hey, listen, we won't get too much into that, but the point is that low testosterone can essentially ruin your life. Ah, you got to throw you got to go throw that little thing in there. Now you're going to notice a really interesting pattern here. I say interesting, but it's not. Hey Daddy Jeff. Hello. My friends and I have discovered the soundboards on Discord. <laughs> Can I get a clean? This is a tactical nightmare. Scream from you to use? A a clean This is a tactical nightmare. Do you need do you want uh the echo on it or no echo? Like, I, cause I could do that. I can totally do that. Easy, easy, easy. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> yes, that's true. Excessive amounts of testosterone causes baldness. Absolutely, 
Absolutely. And uh, Echo would be great. You got it. You got it. Absolutely. We'll do that in just a second. And if Frank is any any demarcation of like uh, hair to testosterone, like <laughs> Frank, get your levels checked. You know what I'm saying? All right. So what do I got to say? I got to say uh, this is a tactical nightmare. Okay. Hang on a second. Let's do this. And just in case that didn't work out too good, I'll just do I'll just do it like this. This is a tactical nightmare. There you go. I will do all the soundboards. I don't give a fuck. I'm cheap. I'm a whore. All right, let's do this. Uh, Whether it's mild or extreme. So we're gonna focus on the mental, the brain, the physical. You know, moving around, your appearance, how your body looks. And then your performance as in, you know, how well you are doing with your girlfriend and or boyfriend. Uh, I will say the most significant analogy I want to make here is that when people think of testosterone, like performance enhancing drugs, steroids, you know, they think of bodybuilders. But testosterone has the same effect on the mind that it has on the body. So uh, another thing to say there would be, you know, like chess grandmasters, I would bet that every single one of them is taking testosterone. You know, it's a performance enhancing drug for both the mind and the body. It's so, OK, OK, OK. So if if you uh, are smart in ways that Frank believes smart is well represented, uh, you have high testosterone. And uh, if you don't or exhibit behaviors that Frankie boy doesn't like you must have low testosterone okay okay foolproof uh metrics there buddy very 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 important it's not just like er, bodybuilder go to the gym no it will make you you know much smarter more mental clarity so if you have you know lack of focus brain fog if your memory's not that great could be low testosterone mm. you know you should feel yeah. Yeah. sharp invigorated even if you don't have a good night's sleep, you should wake up in the morning and be able to focus and think about what you want. On point and not easily distracted. I like how he had to like put the Wojak in there, you know? Like that's just, that's, that's no notes. No notes, Frank, no notes. Like if I wanna think of four Mexican girls shaking their chest in front of me on a beach and I'm drinking margaritas and I have a chest full of gold near me with a little leprechaun on it, I should be able to think about that pretty clearly. You know, that's, that's not how most people are when they wake up. Well, one, because they're not half crazy, and two, because they don't have enough testosterone, which I did have my testicle therapy this morning. Well, yeah. <laughs> Listen, when I wake up in the morning, I'm thinking of some fat booty Latinas jiggling around on the beach while I have a... I, I, I cradle my pot of gold next to a weird little person and uh, because I have high testosterone and uh, I did my testicle therapy. I don't think your testicle therapy is working. I don't know what that is. I want to know what that is. I'm very fascinated, but I don't think it's working. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, big ups on on the bravery, though, on uh, your very specific fetishes and just being willing to throw it all out there, man. That's cool. We'll talk about that later, how to fix the problem of low testosterone. Physically, you know, you're tired, you're fatigued, you're weak. You know, you don't want to get out of bed, let alone go to the gym. And my description for that is you just don't feel like moving around. Sure, it's, sure. It's that simple. Sure. Like, just... Doing anything with your physical body mm. is, is exhausting. You, know, you just can't get up and go. And that applies to the sleep thing too. Look, even if your sleep wasn't that great, you should- So, okay. So if tired, low, low testosterone, if not tired, high testosterone. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. If, if when wake, not think of fat booty Latinas, and little people, uh, low T, or am I getting confused? I don't know. This is very complicated. I'm sure there's a lot of science behind this. 
to still have energy to do things. Um, in the context of someone who is sleep deprived but does have enough testosterone, you might just not feel like doing it a little bit, but you should still be able to. You know, be strong and have reserved aggression. And <laughs> what I mean by that is like you're ready to run through some drywall. You know, you're ready to be the Kool-Aid man. You're not. You're ready to be a Kyle. <laughs> Memory just got home, and I set up the dog gate, uh, and she's trying to take it down. And I've just been sitting here, both listening to to Frank, totally shit his pants trying to explain it, while watching Mems try and take that thing down, and Penny like jumping all over her. I was vastly entertained for a second. I wish I could have shared that moment with you. Mm. Necessarily always going to do it at any point in time. His testicle therapy is getting his girlfriend to squash his balls with still little high heels or wearing a clown costume. That would be true, but Frank doesn't have a girlfriend. Oh, yeah. So appearance-wise, people that have naturally high testosterone versus mm -hmm. naturally low testosterone, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there are significant differences in their musculature and how they look. Oh. And most people know the difference between a skinny, fat soy boy and like a tall, wiry, strong hunter-gatherer type of build. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the person's going to have little muscle mass, abdominal fat, just look soft and flabby, whereas even if you don't work out. My physical ideals, high testosterone. They were both beautiful. For context, I'm a drunken halfling monk. Mm. The part keeps me in a baby Bjorn. Mm. That clip you made is my battle cry when they use me as a living flail. Fantastic. Fa wait, what? <laughs> <coughs> Okay. All right. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not even... Listen, I'm totally into it. I'm totally into it. I think this is fantastic. By the way, I am available for voice acting. You know? Super into it. All right. Let's give Frank a little bit further. I want to I see where this is going. You know, people with high testosterone, they are naturally muscular and toned. You can tell by the shape of their body. You know, like a hard vascular look with me mm, hard vascular men you think a lot about hard vascular men there frank i do there are plenty of people who have like high testosterone and they're just kind of out of shape and kind of eh you know uh <laughs> you know like like again uh being bald being bald is very commonly associated with an excess of testosterone doesn't mean that you're all of a sudden walking around like Mr. Clean. Ladies. You know, like, fuck that. That's dumb. That's stupid. This is reductive nonsense. Minimal and even body fat storage. You know, they're not necessarily storing a lot of fat around the waist in particular. It's evenly distributed throughout their body. I store all of my body fat in a deep freezer. Of course, it comes from my victims. And a lot of this, uh, which I should have said at the beginning, applies for females too, in a lesser extent. A male taking estrogen and growing titties is way more impactful than a woman taking some testosterone. Oh. You know, if a female takes testosterone, it just around well, the 30th anniversary special of Power Rangers and the finale of Picard all in one week. Nice. Oh shit! Oh shit! Is it the finale of the of the of of the Picard? The Picard? Didn't know that. Hmm. We'll, man we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, that's interesting. Body fat is stored in the balls. Correct. Correct. Everything is stored in the balls. It's true. And if you don't have testicles, that's okay. You have metaphysical balls. They may be invisible, but all of the things are stored within those balls. Embrace thy balls. For the most part, okay, maybe she has to shave a little hair, but... Having more energy, more muscle, higher sex drive for women is very, very, very important and often overlooked. I see. Okay, so testosterone overall, good things. Even if, hey, you know, and maybe it makes the girls a little airy, but it's still good for them. Bada bing, bada boom. Am I right, freaky boy? Fucking moron. Nah, this whole thing is just like the, the same reductive nonsense of any other person finding something random that they're like, hey. My worldview is this is good. So everything good has to do with that thing. And the lack thereof is bad. So things that make me afraid and scared, like trans people, ooh, terrified of trans people, it's because of low T, blah, 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 blah. That kind of garbage. 
it's reductive nonsense. It's stupid. Whatever. The, the one interesting thing, though, about it is that besides Frank telling us, telling on himself, really, about his very specific sexual needs, is him just revealing all of his weaknesses. And I love it when people do that. I think it's fantastic. Just, you know what? Be, be open. Be honest. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, I know. There, listen, I, I'm, I'm with you in the chat. There are so many ways, so many ways which those rules are totally broken totally broken biology which is what i went to school for uh is vastly more complicated than simply testosterone means it's good blah, 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 blah. all right let's see that being said if any muscle mommies just want to pick me up and carry me around that's totally cool too what <clears throat> uh let's see melon Letty. What about being the internet stepdaddy, respectfully? I, I yeah, I could I could live with that. I could live with that. Pedro Pascal can be daddy. I'll be the stepdaddy. Ugne mascote, mascotite, mascotite. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm trying. Sending love from Lithuania. Stay healthy and happy. I will do my best. I hope you do the same as well. Azure Wolfie, Jeff, would it be okay if I do a shout out to a friend of mine who is currently trying to get out of a bad home life? He doing a doodle thon on Twitch. Yeah, of course, sure. Yeah, let me know. And uh, I'm cool with that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Okay. Chat wants to flirt with me. Can't get distracted. Must keep the show going. Oh, God. All right. Speaking of sauciness, this is really good timing, actually. This is really good timing. Hi, watch me on OnlyFans. I'm doing a cult ritual, real magic on OnlyFans. Just have to go and put OnlyFans in forward slash. Then put in lowercase s underline rob. Mm. Uh, okay. Just so so everybody these days has an OnlyFans. Everybody. Even S Rob, my favorite occult author, has an OnlyFans. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I am so behind. I'm so behind. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Uh, my newest post on there now is using the unholy trinity to give you good opportunities, okay? Good opportunities okay. in your life. Okay. And there's a sigil there, a sigil for you to look at while I say certain words, and you can repeat the words if you want to, so you can have better opportunities in your life, okay? okay. And that's an OnlyFans. Just go for OnlyFans. You know, my name is S underline Rob. That's all you have to look for. Okay. Okay. Look, I, I want to, I'm free, free promotion. You know, I, we support sex workers on this channel. Okay. Totally down with the sex workers. No big deal. It's a job like any other. And if S Rob wants to go and perform uh, balloon magic, making sigils with balloons while his dick's hanging out, I've got no problem with it. I think it's great. I think it's great. I might even subscribe. I'm too poor to do that. So no, I'm not going to do that. But can you gift someone an OnlyFans subscription? Is that a thing? Like a Twitch subscription, but for OnlyFans? That'd be so funny. That would be so funny. That'd be so funny if you could gift people, like, the weirdest subs to, to like, really off-the-wall OnlyFans. That would be so fun. I love that. That'd be great. Oh, my God. All right, anyway. I'm thinking about this too much. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about the finale of Picard or all that sort of stuff. Uh, everybody knows I'm a big Trekkie, but I hate New Trek for the most part. Um, kind of don't hate the latest Picard. Picard season three. It's not god-awful. It still makes me furious. But I actually kind of like it. I kind of like it in a really weird way, and I, I'm, I'm kind of not as much of a hater. <sighs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I feel comfortable talking further about that. I feel disgusting even mentioning it. You know what I mean? Maybe instead of balloon animals, he does penis puppetry. That would be fantastic. The world needs more penis puppetry. The world needs competitive penis puppetry. Competitive penis puppetry. Competitive penis puppetry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Salt Rose says, officially a CNA and a student nurse as of, uh, th that would be March 2nd. 2023. Congratulations to you, the Salt Rose. That's fantastic. Proud of you. Hey. 
And you could get through all that tough, uh, tough moments in your life, you know, persevere through adversity. I know sometimes it feels like things are just so low, but you know what? You pushed through, Tiger. You went, you saw it, you got it. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> and Kaylee says, sending love from Wales. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. It's called a cockfight. Hmm. 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 <sighs> I don't want to talk about Star Trek right now. All right. So <laughs> <coughs> we'll do your the shout out for your buddy here uh, after this next video. Um, but we, we got to jump into it while I'm feeling uh, feeling brave. Yeah. 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 We got to watch this video. I, um, so I'm out of wing nuts? No, no, I have, there are so many. There are, I'm, I'm staring at my programming and there's so many. You don't even know. Um, this is, this is a video. It's a video that exists, so let's watch it. I'm going to be talking today about a very serious subject. I want you to pay very close attention. This is not your ordinary blog, but these matters must be faced. I'm going to use some very precise language, so I hope you'll pay special attention. I'm all ears, Bob. I'm all ears. In 2017, the Oxford English Dictionary, a linguistics standard for the English language, officially christened the word Woke. Oh, woke. The definition given was to be aware of and actively attentive to important facts and issues, especially racial and social justice. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Sure. So that's a, uh, listen, <laughs> I know I just went ahead at the beginning of the roundup and I'm like, hey, we don't do a whole lot of politics on this channel. And we're still not doing any, a lot of politics on this channel because this really shouldn't have anything to do with politics at all. It's just fucking words. It's language. So we're going to talk about it because it's words and it's language. And anybody who wants to get political about it can go fuck themselves, okay? Listen, we're just going to talk like regular people. But if that's the definition, wouldn't Jesus be woke? I'm just saying. In response to that, Three significant words have been used to achieve the woke goal. Disparity, equity, and inclusion. Sure, sure. When the word woke dawned on the collective consciousness of America, it sounded harmless. Proponents of woke adopted disparity, equity, and inclusion as if these three concepts were some kind of religious liturgy, like saying Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Wait, what? People who mostly had no faith, certainly no Christian orthodoxy, made woke a rallying cry. It became the motto of economic, sexual, and political activism. But uh, as best-selling author John Ringel... Wait, 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 wait. Here's the thing. And this is, this is something that really, really bothers me about it. Because, like, you know, look, th these kinds of conversations happening on YouTube, they're having, happening all over the fucking place. Everybody wants to talk about, well, woke this, woke that. But then I see one of my absolute... Dearest, favorite fucking wingnuts, this 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 Christian exorcist motherfucker, going off about woke, and I'm thinking to myself like, so you're complaining that this word or movement uh, uh, is is like taking over all these different areas of people's sexuality and government and activism, and I'm like, motherfucker. Your entire religion has been doing this for 1,500 fucking years! <laughs> you have a fucking problem with... They're trying to get into the economics and the way people have sex and blah, blah, blah. You vapid cocksucker! Okay. All right. Anyway, let's just play. Recently said, go woke, go broke. Ringel was describing companies who use political correctness as a corporate strategy to success. Ringel argues that it doesn't work. 
The public does not buy the artifice. Instead, most woke businesses have had massive income losses. Mm, mm, mm. Like Disney? When he says Disney's woke, Disney uh, makes um, fuck money. Makes a lot of fuck money. A whole lot of fuck money. I feel like the only time anybody who believes that the whole go woke, go broke thing, they never actually, like, look at it. <laughs> I'm quitting smoking cigarettes true. tomorrow. Ooh. Can I get a little, you go, girl, or something similar? Hey, hey, whoa. Hey there, Aaron. How you doing? I, too, uh, have gone through the struggle of having to quit smoking a couple of times. A couple of hundred times. In fact, you might say I'm really good at quitting smoking. But with that being said, it takes a lot of bravery, kiddo. It takes a lot of, uh, takes a lot of chutzpah to really uh, put, uh, put, the, put the coffin nails down. And uh, I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what this whole stream's going to be? I fucking hope so. I'm totally down with it. I don't, I don't even give a fuck, man. I'm totally down with it if we do that shit. It'd be great. Consumers consider the approach disingenuous. They perceive the brands going woke are only using the tactic to appear socially aware. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but here is the problem that should concern every follower of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Woke is about. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I, I do want to point that out though. It, Bob makes a salient point that like they're just uh, these companies and shit. They're just appearing to be woke. I sure. It's a brand. If a if if the latest thing was I don't know everybody uh, it was nipple pressure. The next thing you know, Nike would come out with ads where everybody's wearing nipple clamps. Shut the fuck up. They don't give a fuck about the actual message. It's a brand. They're selling shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> God damn it. More than economics and justice. It's also about sex, money, and political transformation. With this redefinition of meanings, woke has also targeted Christian biblical values. Oh, okay, Sadly, okay, the woke okay, okay, trend okay. has ensnared some Christian leaders. Oh no. For them, oh no. I say, Go woke, go spiritually, bro. Oh, no, you didn't. Three words. Disparity, inequality, equity, fair-mindedness, and inclusion, equal opportunity. Mm, the mm, words of their definitions mm, are good. Mm. I mean, who wouldn't want to fight for equality, fairness, and opportunity? I think there was a guy a while back. He was like, I don't know, he was like a woodworker or some shit. Wore a lot of sandals. A bunch of dudes followed him around in the desert. I think he was into that shit, yeah. But look closer and you'll see that this tactic of redefining... Uh, whoa. Uh-oh. Did we all of a sudden drop for a second? Oh, shit. I got a thing that popped up that all of a sudden, like, the, the stream, like, went down. Did it come back up? <laughs> okay, I think we're okay. That was weird. That was weird. Yeah, you guys, you heard you heard that sound. That was my computer being like, boom, boom, you got disconnected. I'm like, what the fuck? We fucking did not. Son of a bitch. Also, totally ruined my train of thought. Motherfucker. A hidden agenda is a new. Visit the Nazi concentration camp of Dachau, as I have. And you'll be struck by the slogan, you know, for fun. Above the entry to the compound of death. Arbeit macht frei. Work makes you free. This is a blatant... All right, I'm going to have to ask our, our resident uh, German expert, uh, Katzen, how is, uh, how is Bob's accent there? Arbeit macht frei. I don't know what he said. Fucking <laughs> whatever. Example of twisting the word free displayed at the entrance to one of the most horrific places on earth. Consider again the three words I've cited. Disparity. That is the sad history of humanity. But only Jesus could make the playing field level. Oh. The total elimination of social polarity. Is sure, 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 sure. Look, there is disparity out there, but only Jesus can make things equal. So let's just not even fucking try.
guys. Guys, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You ready to slap someone? You're angry? Oh, yeah. Jezebel's up his butt again. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think Jezebel is 100% up his butt. It's only possible through the cross, where all men are declared sinners, according to Romans 3.23. And true parity is achievable only in the body of Christ, as uh. Galatians 3.28 says. Uh. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Jesus Christ. Based sounds inclusive, yeah? Yeah, sure. So why do we have a big problem with this, Bobby? Fight real injustice, if you will, and I am with you, but phony woke battles that lead to spiritual compromise of biblical truths is fake equality. Ooh, so they're just doing it wrong. They're doing they're saying they're doing all the stuff that Jesus would do, and they mean it. But Bob says they're just doing it wrong, so they must be doing it wrong. My bad. The word equity. Okay, he's not even going to explain. Motherfucker. So, and the, look, this is one of the things that makes me so frustrated when they get into this kind of thing. Tell me what you mean. Tell me what you mean. Why? Why are a bunch of college kids very, very, like, empowered and feeling like they want to go out and make a change in the world? And look, I get it. A lot of college kids are kind of cringy. But that's okay, because I'm 40, and I'm still fucking cringy. So... What the fuck ever? Move on. Uh, <laughs> but, like, if they have the spirit of it, you have to then explain to me what in specific they are doing wrong so you can be like, they're just like Christ, but they're doing it wrong and bad so it doesn't count. How? How? In what way? I hate this kind of shit. Over Overwhelmingly, like, the 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 the, the hardcore, like, Christian nationalist sort of shit is always perpetually trying to dumb down anybody that might have a point along the lines of their own religious philosophy, so long as they can maintain something that they care about much more than the message of Jesus Christ. And that's political control. <laughs> anyway, that was uh, totally not a political segment of the roundup at all. It's totally fine. It's cool. We're just going to move on. <clears throat> We're fine. Yes, I may be cringe, but I am free. Indeed. 40 years of cringe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this. That will have to be, uh, that'll have to be my, my documentary about my life. 40 years of cringe. All right, uh, let's see. So Azure Wolfie, uh, I was talking about this, uh, this person, uh, twitch.tv slash, slash K-U-M-A, Kuma, Crunch 030. Kuma is non binary. He uses he, they pronouns. Doodlethon is $1 equals one minute doodles through his coffee. If anyone has free time to drop by a stream, if you don't have to donate, don't know if you don't want to. Right on. And that's somebody who is uh, trying to get out of a bad house situation. So they're doodling their way into a better, happier, healthy life. I think that's fucking rad. Good for them. That's cool. I hope, I hope some people check out their stream. Uh, SL says, every once in a while, I'll open Magellan TV to watch some true crime docs, and I see Bob's show pop up in the recommended, and I can't decide if I want to binge it or cancel my Magellan TV subscription. Wait, 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 wait. So Bob Larson actually has, like, a fucking partnership with a streaming service? Are you fucking for real? Are you fucking for real? That is so funny. That's amazing. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Uh, Aaron Anasi, thank you again. Appreciate you. Yami Jackie says, I love it when I come in just as we see Bible shoving up butts, man. I love you, Jeff. It's like you were calling me to come, and I did. Yeah, get used to that. Uh, isolationist Agorist, cheers, have fun on your vroom vroom machine. I will. In fact, um, the, the fourth thing I will miss the most while being on tour. It's the kid, the, the wife the dog, and then my motorcycle. I won't have my motorcycle with me on tour. I'm going to be very sad about that. It's going to just fuck my whole head up. I've been riding my motorcycle like a motherfucker as much as I possibly can. Anyway, uh, so <clears throat> this is an interesting This is an interesting situation, all right? Uh, and it plays in with the, the Bob Larson video. So let's watch this. 
If you have pronouns in your bio, stop following me now. You are a winged monkey for the woke leftist death cult, and I will not tolerate it on my page and my courses and my classes. My work is not for you. Unfollow me. And if I see you've got pronouns in your bio, I will block and ban you. If you have- so I I have I've gone to bat for a while uh, with some people who were just like, you need to do an expose on the wild naked man. He's a bad person. He's encouraging people to do this and do that and blah blah blah. I'm like, honestly, the guy just look. I know he's like anti GMO. I know he's an anti vax fucker. You know, but his what he sells is basically dudes rubbing their dicks together. And if that's what people want. If that's the excuse they need to get something that they've been thinking about for a long time, who am I to get in the way of that? I don't fucking care. But then he put out this video, and I saw it, and I messaged him on Twitter, and I was like, hey, buddy, I feel like this is a bad look. I feel like you're going to make people feel hated with this. Because, you know, even if it, most people just don't care about pronouns, they don't care. Like, if they have pronouns in the bio, just ignore it. And you replied with, well, the people in the pronouns in the bio are usually the people that are super mean to me and they're fucking cool and they do all this kind of horrible shit to me and they make me feel bad about myself. I'm like, okay, well, I get what you're saying. This is a conversation I am paraphrasing a little bit. You can go to my Twitter if you want to and see the whole interaction. I don't give a fuck. Uh, but a lot of people might misconstrue that as you hating people because they might have different pronouns now than they did before. Because that's kind of what it's supposed to be about, you know? And he fucking blocked me! This fucking weird old mushroom tip rubbing piss drinking motherfucker blocked me! I was on your side! You fuck! You pretentious little fuck! Oh my god! What a jackass! I tried so- I was being so nice to him. So nice to him! Like, look, buddy. I get it. You know, you, you feel like you're being bullied by people who have pronouns in their bio. Just fucking ignore them! Just fucking ignore them! But if you say- if you make a video like this, you sound like a fucking chud motherfucker, okay? You sound like a dick! So don't do that. Just ignore him. Just let it slide off you. That's what I was saying. And he blocks me. You fucking prick. Fuck you. Fuck you. Will. Piece of shit. Dickhead. Somebody clip this and send it to him. I can't send it to him because he blocked me. Bitch. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I know. He drinks his piss. I know. I know, but I try and be nice to... I, look, I try to be nice to people. I try to be nice to people. He's a fucking anti-vaxxer. Obviously, I don't have to be nice to him, but I'm trying to because he seems genuine. And if you, if you try and, and interact with people in a way that's really genuine, then sometimes you can get like a genuine reaction out of them, and they will actually kind of be amenable to thinking that maybe they were wrong. Maybe. You gotta try it every now and then, otherwise you become a cynical, bitter asshole. And I don't want to do that anymore. But, uh, you know, then he just had to turn around and fuck me in my ass. Bitch. Fuck him. Fuck, fuck Will Blunderfield. Anyway, I'm done. Moving on. <laughs> I'm very upset. Guys, I'm upset. What's next? Oh, yeah, fuck me. Let's go. My time traveling friends, we continue to notice that there are lots of confusion out there regarding what we consider the real situation on Earth to be. We see people discussing two different point of views. The first is that Earth is a school where people can come to learn new life lessons and existence and we're born here to learn those lessons until we get them right. Now we at Farsight think that this is a propaganda line spread by real extraterrestrials who are working for the authoritarian ETs who are running the planet as a prison. Oh. So the second point of view is that Earth is not a school, but a prison. Friends, each and every one of you has existed for millions and millions of years. You were not just born recently. So why in the world would you need to go to school? 
And if you haven't learned your lesson in a million years, do you think that a few more lifetimes is going to get it right? Not really. Uh, okay, okay. Hang on. I gotta think about this one for a second. So much fucking dog hair on my fucking microphone. Um, okay, so the Earth is a school, but no, 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 no. The Earth is not a school. The Earth is a prison. <laughs> Guys, listen. You've been alive, your soul, spiritually, for millions of years. <laughs> to think you need to go to school anymore? That's bananas. So obviously it's not a school, it's a prison. We're in a prison of the mind. Okay. Yep. Fuck. Okay. I think I think I'm tracking on this one. It it does feel like it's in Tension is for good, but it can be used either way for good and bad. And it feels like this subject here is trying to use it for good or really keep it hidden away from bad people. So our research at Farsight indicates that the prison operates on the basis of mass deception. That is, it is part of the prison structure that you are kept in the dark about the extraterrestrial entire element. If that breaks down, there will be a revolt amongst the prisoners and a planetary revolt, and prison authorities will lose control of the entire situation. Fair. Moreover, good ETs who support free will would then be able to intervene, and the authoritarian ETs would have no alternative but to flee. What was the name of, and also R.I.P. and Pepperoni's Ray Liotta, what was the name of that Ray Liotta movie where he was like, he was a prisoner, and I think it was in space. Was it in space? No escape. Was that in space? Did I really just stop the whole show to try and remember that? I don't know, okay, all right. I think it was No Escape. It's like that movie No Escape with Ray Liotta, but with aliens and in space, if it wasn't in space. But if it was, more like it. We hear so many people demanding that the free will ETs show themselves, and people are upset saying that the free will ETs must be trash as they are hiding also. Friends, this planet is controlled by the bad ETs. The authoritarian ETs, they see it as their domain. The free will ETs cannot simply invade. Just look at it this way. That's ridiculous. Many people consider Russia and China to be run by the authoritarian governments and that the people of those countries are being misled by their leaders. That may be. Hold on. But Hold on. That's fantastic. But I'll... I don't know if you can hear it or not. It's probably not going to pick up on this microphone, but, like, it all of a sudden started dumping rain here so loud that I could hear it through my earbuds, and it sounded like a, like a, like a, like a tidal wave crashing through. That was insane. What the fuck? That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, it's like monsoon season here in Oregon. The reality is that... No escape, but it's on an island? Oh. Yeah, that's fine. This whole stream is going to be non sequiturs. The leaders of those countries remain very popular within the countries. As of the recording date of this video, the presidents of both Russia and China are very popular leaders. Now, you may say that their populations don't know the truth, but... What is anyone to really do about that, if that's true? Sure. The democratic nations on this planet cannot invade Russia or China. Mm. If any nation or group of nations invaded Russia or China in order to free the populations of those countries, yeah. those same populations would demand that the government protect them from their invaders. The invading countries would have to invade, conquer, and then re-educate the entire populace of those countries so that the populations would... Wait, I thought this was supposed to be compelling us into thinking that the planet was a... It feels like she's arguing against her own point. I'm just... It, doesn't it? This is very strange. This is very, very strange. Like, I, 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 is the Earth actually a prison or is it a school? Understand that they were being duped. You should see that that cannot happen, and the evading countries would then be mind-controlling the populations the same way the authoritarian governments were doing in the first place. Mm. Just to catch 22 here, so. They ran over into this nook. They were hiding into this nook for a little while. They were hiding their, their presence. 
uh, their pursuers. They thought they gave him the slip. The pursuers went right past them, and then they went back to retrace their steps, I guess to get out of wherever they are. Sure, and sure. And then a second pursuer was lying in wait for them and blew them right up as soon as they made contact. Uh, blew them up. A head to head altercation. So people have the right. I love when they cut, like, they'll, so they'll, they'll have somebody who's just like talking some random, weird uh, nonsense, just some esoteric fucking nonsense. And then they cut to somebody who's just like telling a weird story on their markers with like the glass and shit. And it doesn't even feel like they have anything to do with each other. It's so great. It's so great. This is wild. These people must be stoned 24 7. Right to be happy living under authoritarian governments just as much as they have the right to enjoy living under democratic governments. You can't invade a country simply because you don't like its government. Moreover, the governments of Russia and China Wait, would what? certainly resort to using nuclear weapons. What? 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 What did you just say? It's government. Moreover, just as much as they have the right to enjoy living under democratic governments. You can't invade a country simply because you don't like its government. Since when? Wait, 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 wait. Since fucking when? What? That's like half the half the reason any 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 government invades any other fucking country. Are you fucking kidding me? Since when? They do that shit all the fucking time. What? We don't like your type of government. Oh, well, go fuck yourself. No, we're going to bomb you. Oh. Don't? Seems an odd thing to bomb us for. Yet, yet we, we do. Humans do. We do that all the time. What are you fucking talking about? Oh, my God. This is some vapid, dumb shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. America here. Beep, beep. Well, it helps if they have oil, too. You know, just uh, saying. Uh, it, fucking, if the, the shit keeps happening with, like, cars and shit, soon it'll be like, hey, we noticed you're sitting on a giant pile of lithium. Smells like you need some freedom. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. All right, anyway, fuck this shit. Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. One Eyed Heathen says, I am TG, disabled, and trying to escape an abusive situation in the South. My GoFundMe is called Escape Fund. Well, there you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Um, wait, you're in the South. I'm going to be in the South. Ah, this is good enough time as any to mention. By the way, everybody, I'll be leaving soon to go on a tour down through the South. Tennessee, Kentucky, Mississippi, Alabama, and New Orleans. I'll have opportunities to meet people both in Memphis and in New Orleans. So if you're interested, leave a comment down below. Um, are we saying trans rights now? Yeah, we can say trans rights now. Yeah, trans rights, of course. Every day. All day. Every time. 100%. All right. Uh, I don't know how much uh, I'm going to be willing to to give uh, this, this lady some airtime, but it's kind of relevant, so let's let's watch a little bit. So this is not what I channeled. This is just the theories that are out there. The first theory is called the ancient astronaut theory. So this is a theory that states that ETs have visited Earth in ancient times. Aliens. And essentially have influenced our progression and development um, over those times, have given us ancient knowledge and wisdom. No. And have actually, ETs apparently have also... Um, influence the development of religions, including Christianity. Ah. Really fascinating. Mm. So aspects of this theory argue that Jesus was an alien visitor oh. who came to planet Earth to teach humanity about spiritual concepts and technology. Well, well wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. But but first of all, first of all, if Jesus, 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 if Jesus was an alien, um, was Jesus then part of the intergalactic prison industrial complex because he was helping to maintain the status quo inside the Earth prison? Because that's what Farsight's saying. Farsight's saying that we live in a prison planet. All of this is just like a big illusion created by the ETs to keep us 
locked in chains and bondage and servitude forever. But if Elizabeth April, who would know, is saying that Jesus was an alien, well, doesn't that mean that he was in on it? And if that's true, does that mean that everything Bob Larson thought is a lie? Do you see how deep this goes? Do you understand how, like, this could mean war between the wingnuts? Do you, do you get this? It's crazy. If any of them actually believed a fucking word that they said, then, you know, maybe then we'd, we'd get some bloodshed, but probably not. Oh, jeez. And there's so much more to each one of these theories. I'm really just scraping the surface. You are scraping Once again, something, that yeah. that's called the ancient astronaut theory. Oh, oh, And I'll tell oh. you what I believe about each of these theories mm. at the end. Mm, 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 uh, mm, the mm, second mm, mm. theory that is rolling around out there regarding Jesus and the Bible and aliens is called the star the star child skull theory. Okay. And this is a theory that claims that there was a human alien hybrid skull cool. of a child that was found in Mexico mm -hmm. in the 1930s. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some believe mm. that the skull is evidence of ET intervention in human history and that, in fact, Jesus was also one of these human hybrids wait, wait, wait. from the same lineage. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, listen, wait, okay, there's a lot there. First of all, you're telling me that there's human-alien hybrids, which means humans and aliens can fuck. I'm interested. But also that they somebody found the skull of a, a, a Mexican child who was half alien in Mexico, but also BT dubs Jesus, who was an alien, wasn't really an alien. He was half alien and comes from the same lineage. Does that mean, which I have thought for a while, that Jesus was Mexican? Bien. <laughs> well, then it's good that I have over 700 day streak in Duolingo for Spanish, so I'll be able to speak the language when I finally make it to heaven. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? That is wait, 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 wait. This is important. Nine tails. Are humans really this bored? Yes. Yes, we are. Let me explain. Let me explain. This is important, okay? All right. <clears throat> A lot of people don't really quite understand why it is that we're so different from other animals. And I can explain it very, very well. It's not that fucking deep. It's actually extremely fucking simple. Human beings developed our brains to the point where we have a very utilitarian sense of tool making. But our tool making went further than just making things easier to making things so easy we have more time than we know what to do with. Other animals don't have the right access to stuff or the right kind of brains to be able to do what we do. Dogs, for instance, when they are domesticated and they have more time than they know what to do with, they don't have to hunt or anything, they just lay around and they're lazy. Maybe they might eat your fucking couch, you know? Humans are, are capable of, like, a deep thought... And that deep thought allows us to do amazing things. So like when we developed agriculture, we no longer had to worry and stress all the time about making sure that we didn't starve to fucking death, right? And we built better structures so we didn't have to worry about freezing to death. And we, we built some sort of form of mutual aid so we don't have to get worried about hunt, being hunted by predator animals and shit like that. That gave us a lot of time. And what did we do at that time? Well, we did some great shit, things like music, art, but then we got really bored, like really bored, super bored. And we just started coming up with all sorts of dumb shit. And that's where we are now. We're a byproduct of our own success. We have nothing to worry about. And so we just come up with all sorts of dumb shit. And that is the truth the real truth about the modern human condition, okay? Because you go back 150 years, all these little petty fucking things that we worry about all the goddamn time, ain't none of us would give a fuck 
We wouldn't give a fuck. We wouldn't care. We'd be so busy with other shit. Cholera. We have to make kids to keep replacing all the kids that the cholera and the TB take. You know, ton of shit that we'd have to do. We have so little that we actually have to do. And we're so bored. And this is what happens. Also, you know, great TV, great movies, you know. I'm not disparaging all of it, but like this is this is this is part of it. This is part of the what the ring no roundup is. Is the darker side of like what happens when human beings are just that fucking bored. Just that bored. Just saying. People need hobbies. <laughs> anyway, moving on. The Star Child Skull Theory. Fascinating, right? The third theory that is out there is called the Bible Code. The Bible Code Theory. So this theory suggests that there are hidden messages. I, I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a, a an insight into like early mid twenties Jeff. I totally believed in the Bible code back then. <laughs> Don't judge me too harshly. Within the Bible, and that these messages predict future events and secret knowledge. Aspects of this theory argue that the Bible contains evidence that Jesus was indeed an alien visitor. Oh. So what do I believe? Now, once again, I've done a lot of remote viewing. What's really cool about remote viewing is, so for example, like I can remote view, say the next room over, but remote viewers can also remote view through time, not just through space, but through time as well. And of course, if you don't believe in remote viewing, please just do your research. Remote uh, viewing has been widely studied and has been widely proven. Okay, but here's the problem, though. If Elizabeth April is, is remote viewing things, well, her remote viewing is, is contradictory to the remote viewing of Farsight. And a Elizabeth April is one person, whereas Farsight is an entire institution, I guess. I don't it's 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 a it's a thing but there are more of them than just elizabeth april so how are we supposed to gauge who's right again why don't we see some wars between the wing nuts oh you think the planet is a group of, is is a prison i think that the planet is an inspired divine eden brought forth by the the christ alien let's fight with knives can they please do it? Can any of them actually give a shit enough about what they believe in to enact violence for our amusement? That would be, that would be fantastic. I am advocating for some weird shit tonight. Okay, moving on. Fuck Elizabeth April. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, what I'm going to do, uh, let me see if we're all caught up. We are almost okay. Uh, do, 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 do. SL uh, says the husband I left used to get mad that you'd say trans rights sometimes. Really? Wait, really? Really? From me and my current metalhead dream man, I'd love to give you a hard and loud trans fucking rights. Yeah, dude, nah, you fucking upgraded. Jeff, this is exactly aliens are avoiding us. It's terrifying to them we are so bored we might hump them like a horny Jack Russell Terrier. We probably would. We No, we, we definitely would. I mean, well, also, are the aliens hot? Not that it would really stop anything, but it would decrease the amount that they would have to contend with. You know, like... Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> but you're not wrong, Dania. Thank you. Uh, SL, you definitely upgraded 100%. If anybody ever gets mad at the fact that I say trans rights, uh, kiss my fucking ass. Don't give a fuck. Don't care. Don't care. Jeff, you might alienate some of your audience with some of your political views. Kiss my ass. Don't fucking care. Don't care. Haven't cared for a long time. Dork Side of the Great says, if it stops people drinking their pee, Jesus was 100% an alien. Fair. Fair. I mean, I don't really care if people drink their pee. I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious. 
But then, you know, like <laughs> well, whatever whatever the whatever the uh the the battleground needs to be for you, I I appreciate that. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to engage in some distance reiki. I'm going to bolt and go use the bathroom. And uh all of the bad vibes we've had so far, uh which have been very little, mostly just from the wing nuts. Uh, we're going to get some distance Reiki, and it's going to cleanse the timeline, okay? We're going to get cleansed. Uh, be ready to receive your cleansing. All right. Here Well, I hope everybody's nasal, nasal passages are very clear right now. All right, you failed. You failed. I'm still stuffed up. Totally stuffed up. Not fair. Not fair. Wah, wah. All right. Anyway, moving on. Fuck it. <laughs> now they're worse? They're worse? Was that reverse Reiki? Can you do that? Would that then be considered, like, curse Reiki? Can you curse Reiki somebody? I don't know if that's a thing. My eyeballs are about to pop. She's doing it wrong. Dude. Wouldn't that be crazy if you could, like, sue somebody for malpractice because they reiki you wrong? They reiki Listen, your honor, I went in there for a session, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get, uh, trying to get some relief. I got this uh, big old uh, snot bubble up in my gabago. And uh, next thing I know, I uh, pop a goddamn blood vessel. Look at my eye. It's all bloodshot. Uh, I need some compensation. I don't know why he's from... Uh from Jersey, but that's okay. That's all right. That's fine. We're just going to roll with it. What are we... Uh... Oh, yep. That was her. Jesus Christ, look at her eyes. Look at her fucking eyes. Oh, my God. Uh, thank you again, Dar uh, or Dania. Appreciate that. Uh, Dork Side of the Great says, I say this as a Christian, too. Yeah. Jesus was 100% an alien. Yeah, sure. Yeah, fuck, man. Whatever. Voodoo Reiki. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. So if I had to choose, if I had to choose, if I needed, like, some spiritual healing, I would be less likely to go to a Reiki practitioner, and I would be more likely to go to S-Rob. Not because I think that S-Rob would actually be able to help me or cure any of my ailments as they were, but because I think I would be vastly more entertained and his accent is so weird. Finally caught this live at 1 a.m. Hey. Doing my master's thesis this year. It's bacterial identification using oligonucleotides in potentiostatic electrochemistry and fluorescence. Neat. I have some interesting hypothesis on P-therapy, but to test as unethical. That's kind of the problem with most of the... <laughs> 
<laughs> Most of bee therapy is it's largely unethical. Um, I mean, <laughs> uh, in theory, there are ways to test pee therapy uh, within the, the ethical standards of, of testing, I guess. Um, hmm. But no, that's awesome. That's great. G congratulations on doing your master's thesis. I, um, listen, wait, 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 hang on. We had a thing going earlier. <clears throat> I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Not just because you got your master's, but that because if you had the capability, you could, in fact, go and do a study on the efficacy of pee therapy. But you know that that would be unethical. So you're not gonna. And you know what? That takes strength. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Okay. All right. Anyway, fuck. Let's go. Let's uh let's let's do some some crazy shit. Let's go here. Oh yeah. Precious man. Precious woman. Now we know each other's story. Now tell me the story. Precious man. Precious woman. Can I bring her on stage? Yeah. Is he doing like some fucking voodoo on her pregnancy? That's fascinating. Huh. She's giggling. She's giggling. That's it. She's just fucking giggling. Look, okay, okay, okay. Watch it again. Watch her fucking shoulders. This shit pisses me off so fucking bad. This is so dumb. Look at this shit. Watch her shoulders. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> like if I, like if I, here, hang on a second. Let me see if we can. <clears throat> and I laugh. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like there's a baby moving in there, right? Right? Like, it, ugh, fuck. That's a lot harder to push out than it was like six months ago. Holy fuck. Uh, <laughs> well, it's past 1 a.m. here, so your severely underpaid secretary has to go to bed. Uh, Thanks to the cleansing, I shall live to breathe another day. Mm. Chat, take care of Jeff. Jeff, take care of Jeff. No promises. Injuries verboten. Love ya. Less than three. Less than three to cats and lady. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, darling. You're amazing. Sweet dreams. Of me. Uh, <laughs> anyway. My baby is going to be adorable. Is it? Do you think so? Do you think it's going to be... I can't fucking push it out like I used to. I used to be so much bigger. He's going to be a soccer player. If you use <laughs> fuck. I I hate this shit. I hate it. I hate it. Moved by the power of Christ. Uh let's just move on to this one. I would rather do this. This is fantastic. This is great. As you can see by our freeze frame, um, obviously quality content. Let's do it. So, you know, the more I learn and the more I start to gather this type of information. Um, I, I think that we're in a time right now where this technology is really making its way to the light again, so to speak. Um, I know that there's dozens of manufacturers now that are out there. I just went to the A4M show out in Las Vegas um, back in December. A lot of new technology, a lot of manufacturers, a lot of really wonderful things are starting to come out. So I really feel like, you know, that aside from all the things going on within our planetary system and uh, a world with um, ascension that, you know, the the um, the evolving uh, technology coming back out and coming mm -hmm. back to light, so to speak, is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is actually uh, very exciting. Mm. A lot of the people that I've spoke to have told me that some of this technology is technology that's been around for a very long time, sort of went into the dark. Um, I've had many people tell me that this is technology that was used during the time of Atlantis. Oh. Um, uh, as I 
spoke about earlier. Uh, now, so I, I, I have an, an interesting question about this. This is something that I've seen uh, quite a few times from uh, other uh, wing nuts uh, that are trying to, to, to sell devices uh, or special um, uh, miraculous methods and things like that. Is it like, well, this is actually coming from a very ancient place. Um, it's been around for thousands and thousands of years. And the, the question I always have to come to my mind is like, well, then what the fuck do I need you for? This shit's been around for fucking ever? And you're like, well, but I'm selling it. Well, I don't fucking need you, bitch. It's been around for 4,000 years from ancient Lemuria and Atlantis and or the, the, the nation of Mu, you know? And, like, obviously it's got to be easily accessible if your dumbass fucking found it. Why do I need you? Convenience? Again, because we're so bored. We're so bored. We're so lazy. Um, plans confirmed Atlantis had a Spencer's gift too. That's good, Rod Swoy. <laughs> Energy uh, devices being inscribed in hieroglyphics and the pyramids. Um, there's a there's a lot of really good information on that. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I will quote out um, uh, Mr. Dan Winter, who um, I find to be, you know, just really at the forefront of breaking this out and really having a very, um, a very high um, uh, understanding of, of what this is. But um, but there's multiple different types of plasma energy technology. Now, the cool. plasma energy technology, and when it comes to technology that's out there right now for the uh -huh. average person, um, would include a multiple group of things. So as long as, we, as, long as I brought that up, um, plasma fire, quantify, therify, <laughs> those are plasma energy. Wait, wait, wait. Was it Rotsoy that said to Spencer's Gifts? There you go. <laughs> Ancient technology, straight from fuck off Atlantis, the, the the plasma globe, fuck me dead, holy shit, it uh, it does that. Energy devices um, that are basically performing something called phase conjugation. Mm. Um, uh, actually, they're actually performing negantropy, which is uh, sort of the reversal. Of wait, 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 you can't say that, That's that's not your word. spin which is actually the reversal of time reversing things back into order uh, but for for other technologies that are also available um, you're going to have things like the terahertz wands which are uh, producing quantum scalar that those look like hair curlers those look like a mix between a hair dryer and a hair curler yeah 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 uh quartz crystal um far infrared a lot of far infrared technology out there. Um, a lot of documentation on far infrared technology. A lot of companies, as I mentioned earlier at the A4M, that really have a lot of published science and data on that. Um, and then you have little simple things like plasma energy water, which goes back to a, um, you know, a Dr. Keshe, where you're able to infuse plasma energy into water and incorporate that into. Yeah, see, listen, this, this is why I love chat. Chat goes to the place where I thought but didn't go, which is wands. Uh huh. What kind of wand are we talking about? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Are we hair using hair curlers as sex toys now? See, that's what I'm saying. You guys go to the place that I don't necessarily need to go. I can go about here, and you guys go up here. It's great. It's fantastic. We're a team. We're a team, you guys. Your daily lifestyle. I've spoke to thousands and thousands of people that um, are looking for med beds, waiting for med beds. However, as I said earlier, I think a lot of the technology that's available right now, people just don't know about it, actually really addresses a lot of what people are looking for with the actual med bed technology that they're waiting for. So things like the terahertz wands, uh, stiffness, soreness, pain, arthritis, back pain. Listen, if you want to strap me to a med bed and use a wand on me to get rid of my my stress and my tension, I think we can figure something out. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? All right, anyway, 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 anyway. Secret Lara says, bend your lumbar to make a pregnant belly. I tried, dude, I tried. <sighs> I tried, that's hard. That's very, very difficult for me.
I know, I know. It was totally Queen of Karma. I know. It was the med beds. It's super the med beds. That's like a big thing in the wingnut spaces these days. It's all uh it, it's all like Star Trek LARPing nonsense kind of shit. Wands are stiff. Would you like them if they were not stiff? Just saying. All right. The wands have been taking their testosterone. Shut up, Jeff. All right, cool. Anyway, all right. Uh let's let's do some tapping. Let's do some tapping. We're going to let Dr. Mandel here Talk to us briefly uh, about what we're going to be doing, and then I'll skip ahead to uh, to our exercise, okay? This is the exercise we should all do together. Uh, we're all going to be relieving things, and we'll see. We're Look, okay, science has a problem that they can't really get immediate results. We here at the Wingnut Roundup, we don't have that problem. We can do live results, and we can collate our data together because we're all doing it together. And we can say if something is legit or it's bullshit. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. All right. Let Explain it to us first, Dr. Mandel. Stress. It doesn't matter if it's physical or chemical or emotional. The bottom line is it affects our amygdala in the brain. The amygdala is what pumps in those stress hormones that fight or flight, the cortisol, the adrenaline, sure. the norepinephrine, and high cortisol levels starts to cause increased sugars in our body, puts a burden on the pancreas to secrete insulin to get the sugars into the cells. And this over time can lead to pre-diabetes or even type two diabetes, but it gets worse. We want to prevent this from occurring. And I'm gonna show you a simple technique that you're going to just tap into certain areas from our neck moving upwards to the top of our skull. That's going to inhibit the amygdala from causing these particular stress hormones to be flooded into the gates of our system. Okay. And this okay. is going to stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. That's going to slow you down, wind you down, inhibit those stress hormones from being secreted. It's going to allow you to sleep better, digest your food better. We'll just let it play. You're going to live a happier and healthier life. Okay. Now, this technique may look We're elementary. We're going to tap our way but into I a happier life. But I can promise you one thing. It's going to do wonders for the health and wealth of your body because you're stimulating neurosensory changes going back to the brain. And see, that's what the Roundup's all about. We're all about stimulating you. Stimulating your neurosensory uh, centers and up into your brain. So get ready. We're all going to do it. We're all going to do it together. You, you, you're sitting there on the couch watching me. Get up. Do it. Sit upright. Get ready. Good posture. Back up. Hands ready. Get ready to tap. And the brain is going to respond by causing this parasympathetic response throughout your entire system. Indeed. And when we do our tapping, you can use any fingers that's most comfortable for you. I like to use my second and third. We'll start right at the jaw area called the TMJ. We're going to tap again each area about 20 seconds. Okay. And right. This is an area we will hold a lot of our stress. We clench our teeth, our jaw. We oh. grind our teeth. This area is very, very common, even when it comes to headaches. I After we go feel like around the jaw area, on both sides here, we're going to go into the cheeks. Uh, we have cranial nerves that run through here. This area, again, we use it constantly, chewing, talking. So we're going to stimulate chewing sure all is around hard, the cheek everyone. area. We actually hold a lot of tension in our cheeks without even knowing it. Yeah, yeah, sure. And just continue to tap around. Yeah. As you're feeling sensation changes going back to the brain, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the brain is reacting. Sure. And now we're going to tap over the temple area, commonly seen with neuralgia, Ow. headaches, Ow. even visual or even eye issues. What this area fuck? is very powerful. You're going to get a lot of hyperemia, increased blood supply to the area as we keep stimulating those nerves go into the brain. I feel like I'm getting pissed now off. Now we'll tap on the forehead area. Uh, okay. There's a lot of amazing acupressure points. It's greasy. Right in the area, particularly third eye in the center. Uh, actually above our eyebrows. Uh, uh, Just tap all around, stimulating those nerves. As you're going to get a lot of hyperemia. Uh, what does that mean? You may also notice drainage of your sinuses. No. You're going to do that a good 20 seconds. Wait, 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 wait. 
can I use this tapping technique to drain other things? Asking for a friend. Not for me. I'm fine. I'm totally cool. I'm, you know. <laughs> God damn it. Beautiful. Now we'll Beautiful. go right on top of the skull, the vertex of the skull, right on top. I like to keep it in line with the ears, right around the top of the area. Very powerful acupressure points, acupuncture points. This area has a lot of neural stimulation that goes to the whole entire face, to the head area. Very, very powerful to stimulate right on the vertex, up on top. Beautiful. Just keep Beautiful. stimulating. You're going to get a lot of neurological I'm changes. I'm so stimulated if you right do now. This, as that parasympathetic system is going to continue to kick up. Uh, something's pathetic. And lastly, we're going to tap underneath the skull, okay. called the suboccipital area. Blah, 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 blah. This has a direct effect with the greater and lesser occipital nerve roots that uh -huh. go over the head behind the eyes, pressure over the head behind the eyes, headaches. This is very powerful. This can actually help tinnitus, vertigo, tinnitus. stimulate those areas back in there. Very powerful area, a lot of neurological structures in that area. Beautiful. Just keep tapping on both sides, back and forth. On All right. Are you guys well tapped? I feel very tapped. I feel very tapped. I don't feel quite drained. In fact, I feel a little bit backed up. The more I get my uh, my head massaged, the something, the sort of pressure builds inside of me. It just, I don't, yeah, it's, it's kind of like the opposite of what he's talking about. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, randomness says, studying going well, thanks to believing in me. No one in my family cares at all that I've reached the end of like eight years of effort with college. Well, you know what? Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm proud of you. I think you're doing fantastic. I think it's great. And you should do those things, not for anybody else's validation, but only your own validation and your own success. Because the truth of the matter is, uh, whatever we actually manage to achieve in this crazy, fucked up, tiny little life that we have, that is ours ours not anybody else's nobody else owns your success you own your success okay but proud of you <laughs> moving on <clears throat> uh oh yeah let's uh let's uh let's watch some some wrestling here here we go oh really Broke him in half. That pastor just choke slammed the Easter Bunny. God damn! Snapped him right in half. What the fuck? Crazy, crazy. Well, you know, that's fine. <laughs> uh, all right. So I know, like, usually we we try and do this uh, this update. At the end of the month, so it's been like uh, the, an entire month. We've we've done the 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 death watch, but you know we have to do the roundup early this month. But I, I am happy to say that the great black dragon is still alive. He's still alive, and today he's going to teach us about colors. Colors. What could be simpler? The solar plexus uses strong yellow energy. Yellow energy. The pineal uses real strong blue energy. Plus, blue energy. it's got a little purple and stuff that comes in and so, out. So purple and purple and blue energy. Uh, solar plexus and the pineal sometimes have a yellowish color uh, color frequency. It's relative to purple, blue, the stone, yellow energy. Uh, the darker colors of the stone citrine. Sure, 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 sure. What? But look at a heart. The heart at rest puts out purple, it puts out deep red for love, it puts out pink for compassion, it puts out light blue for hope, it puts out light green for spiritual healing, dark green for physical healing. And puts out for truck drivers on the weekend. <laughs> Wait. Shit. And there's all these other shades in between, and there's more to it, but that's, that's all we're going right now. Uh, the point is... The most powerful energy frequencies there are in creation, as far as creation's existing and functioning as a whole, is heart energy. 
want you to know that because I'm just about ready to get out of here finally. Ah! After eight years. <laughs> There's only one hell, and that's being a damn body, physical body. He's so excited at the prospect. Hooray, I'm almost about to die. Yay. Let's just get but it I, done. I need for you to try to remember those of you that have such strong heart energy and care. Yeah. I'm taking the animals because they've been abused worse than anything, and they have to go. Okay. Okay. They so, have to go home. So you're just going to kill... There are a few animals to be left, just some pets, basically. He's just going to kill all the animals. A lot of people are suffering. I'm taking them. Okay. And all these abuses, 40%, just over 40%. Of the people on this planet in a body, they're abusers. Wait, but I thought you were saying, wait, 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 okay, so we have to understand what he's talking about, because I, I speak Great Black Dragon, the Alpha Omega, the creator and the destroyer of the entire universe and multiverse, and he has said multiple times that he is going to free the animals from being abused by murdering them. He's going to kill all of them, so he can take their souls away from this terrible planet. But he also wants to take away... He's going to murder all of the abused people and take them away from this horrible planet. And 40% of people are abusers? I'm killing every last one of them. So he's killing 40% of all human beings because they're abusers. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh It's going to happen, but it's not destruction, hurting, being, a uh, beating stuff up. It, it, it's cleansing. It's purging. Why? To get rid of the crap. We're cutting the cancer out so that those of us that do have compassion, that y'all can have good lives. Really, we're doing That's you a favor. That's why we're doing this. Creation's changing from abuse to compassion. Sure, sure. Compassion means the killing format. everyone. As soon as I'm out of this J6 right. body, that's what we're doing. Right, 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 right. By killing everyone. I couldn't do it when I got out of the Gandhi body because I had to come back. So he was Gandhi. I had to write the books and all this other stuff for the solids. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's been a while since he actually mentioned Gandhi. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Great Black Dragon, uh, his, uh, his previous incarnation, he was, uh, one of the Gandhis. Um, <clears throat> or the Gandhi? I don't know. I don't know if that, does the, does the math on that work out? I have a feeling like he was alive when Gandhi was alive. That doesn't makes sense because i i got mistaken for a second i thought he was talking about one of the llamas but no there's only been one gandhi weird 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 for the people having lives in solid bodies so you'd understand everyone should and be everything's changed so much since then mm, 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 mm. everything's gonna be fine this is being done which some people won't understand but everything that's about to happen, all the destruction and everything else, is for compassion. Oh, you're going to kill everyone with compassion. How can destruction be for compassion if you have someone beating on you with a whip, a stick, and shooting you? Whip. And I kill the shit out of it? Whip. -uh. That's compassion, folks. Damn, Skippy. What? Those people that are suffering, and they have to go, they have to get home. They have to be the, their normal selves, get out of those damn physical, these physical damn bodies so they can heal. And it might look like they're going through hell. They're not, every one of them is coming out soft, easy, and, and comfortably, almost in a euphoric manner. Oh, that's good. No pain, just like all the animals. No just coming their brains out, spiritually speaking. Spiritually. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's only spiritually they're having orgasms, okay? No pain, no nothing. When you pull a spirit right out of a body, it usually just drops right dead. Sometimes it'll jerk a little bit, but it, it'll drop mine. dead. Yeah. It's about love, people, not destruction. It's all about love. That's why I'm going to kill so many people, just because it's out of love. When you pull a cancer out of a body, you kill it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sure. an oversimplification of what's going on, but it... 
maybe simplification isn't the right word because it's so easy to do. <laughs> it's a spiritual orgy. Orgy. It's gonna of happen murder. real soon. My time here is finally <laughs> coming to an end. You said that eight years ago. And you're gonna see what we what I'm building, Lily and I. Okay. Is okay. something of love. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I say something of love. It, it comes from love, but it's something that comes from love. All the frequencies that come from the heart. Sure. Um. Another one. I will. I will just reiterate. We're not gonna. We're we're done with this. By the way, I will reiterate that uh, this this man this this vessel containing the Alpha Omega, the Great Black Dragon energy, the creator and destructor of the entire multiverse, does take the time. Nay, say he deans to donate enough of his time to talk about how much he will use his power to destroy the Chinese and Antifa. Because as any discerning multiversal uh, deity would, those things would just straight piss him off. Sure. Sure. I'm sure none of this has to do with you having way too much time on your hands. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I am not judging. I am simply... I am simply absorbing and understanding and having a good time. Oh, it's Ian. What's up, Ian? Uh, just hear me out now. What if the Great Black Dragon is actually telling it how it is? What if he does take the abusers out when he goes? I've thought about this. Okay, so I've thought about this as well. Um, because I, I do. I like, to, I like to do these thought experiments and shit. Say any of these wing nutty theories are true and take them to their logical conclusion. Say that the Great Black Dragon is, in fact, the Alpha and Omega Destructor and shit. It's not like we would have any choice. It's not like we would be even be, really be able to react. That's the thing that's, like, so brilliant about their whole concept is that, like, if it doesn't happen, oh, well, uh, like, he just hasn't died yet. And if he dies, oh, well, he won't notice. He's dead. But if it was, oh no, it's not like anyone can do anything about it at all. There's no wiggle room for any of this kind of shit, you know? There's no, there's no meandering way. It's like a, it's a perfect trap. It's a perfect trap that if somebody believes it, they'll only be let down after he's off the hook. And if he's right, well, we're all just fucked anyway. You know what I mean? It's so crazy. It's so interesting. He's like a unicorn. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way too much free time and not enough haloperidol. Yeah. <laughs> I worked in behavioral sciences for a while. I am very well familiar with haloperidol. Uh, Secret Lara says you can drain, but only if you tap your fourth eye. The brown eye. That's how I drain. <laughs> Fucking uh all right what is this one? Oh shit fuck me all right anyway let's do it let's go let's go that's great good morning artlies good morning they did a survey yes of bolognese of course because bolognese of lies check it out and this hello there michael i'm so happy to hear from you again tell me all about the survey of lies in the data world survey is woman with degrees are not marrying males without degrees. Oh. oh. Who did the survey? Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Does that mean because I have a degree? Uh, Wait, I'm already married. Okay. Well, if someone like me who has a degree wanted to marry a woman with a degree, we would have less of a chance to get, to get a lady with a degree? Because that, that seems weird. Not that it really matters, but like, huh. Okay. All right. The, the man-hating feminist? Of course. The man hit the feminist. Who else? But let's just say that they're right, even though they're not. Wait, 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 wait. If a woman has a degree, does that mean that automatically she's a man-hating feminist? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Is there a thing where they're like, 
All right, next up uh, to receive their diploma in uh, molecular biology is Jennifer. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Congratulations. Uh, you have uh, succeeded and finished your curriculum, and now you must hate men. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Thank you so much. Fuck men. Yay. Ha. <laughs> like, that doesn't fucking happen. What are you fucking talking about, dude? <laughs> the moment that diploma touches your hand, you hate the man's. No, what the fuck? This doesn't make any sense. By a hundred million miles, but we're going to give them that. They're right. Okay, okay. Women with degrees are not marrying males without degrees because women with degrees are too busy having babies by males without degrees. Wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on. I was trying to drink wine. What did you just say? Hang on. I don't want to misrepresent Makel here. Males without degrees because women with degrees are too busy having babies by males without degrees. So women with degrees are too busy having babies with men who don't have degrees. And then expecting... The males with the degrees. And then expecting the males with the degrees. To marry them. To marry them after they've already been married to the men without degrees and having babies with them. And become stepfathers. And become stepfathers. Follow oh. for more. I always keep it real. No matter what. Real stupid. Don't fall for the lies. Wake up. <laughs> program this right. And you'll make it far. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Is this dumb fuck, this Cro Magnon dumb skull, trying to tell me? Listen, everybody, there's a bunch of smart women getting their degrees, and then they're getting pumped full of semen by uneducated men, and they have the babies, and then they gotta have the men with the degrees raise the babies. Listen. That sounds like a very specific fetish porn, okay? One that I feel like you should contextualize with exactly what you're talking about rather than just be like, this is just how society works. This is your own internal headcanon, okay? Not indicative nor reflective of society at large. Uh, but you know what? Whatever, man. It's totally fine. Totally fine. I, I'm sure, yeah, degrees. He got the degrees. Real recognize real. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. This dude is a gem. Oh, God. Oh, no. <sighs> fuck. Okay, here we go. I am going to drink so much wine while watching this video. How's it going, guys? Jared Genesis here. I it's gotta talk. Uh, I'm trying not to talk <laughs> too loud because I didn't feel like changing the sound settings. So hopefully it's not buzzing in your ears. But <laughs> yes. you know, guys, I just wanted to talk to you today about my opinion on something. And I know this is a bit strange, and I'm sorry if the screen goes dark too because my lighting sucks ass. But sure, like, whatever you say, bro. <laughs> holy fuck! Look at my fucking eyebrow. That's amazing. I've got like a really big fucking. Wow. Look at that motherfucker, dude! I wish they were all eyebrow, that long. Bro. I would look like an old like <laughs> kung fu movie star, like back in the seventies. See if I can get, yank that fucker. <laughs> Got that son of a bitch. I love how when we have to watch a Jared Genesis video, he's like, "All right, first of all, <laughs> gotta gotta pluck my eyebrows, bro. <laughs> no big deal. Not gonna retake. Not gonna reshoot." Not gonna refilm, not a big deal. Everyone wants to see me plug my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true Texan for you. <laughs> Grooming himself on camera. Oh, it's still there. Look at that son of a bitch. <laughs> he didn't even get it. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what fuck, the it fuck? doesn't go. That's all right. We'll fuck with that shit later. Yeah, maybe. But on a serious note, guys. Uh, maybe, maybe stop the recording erase erase the footage and restart no um, okay you know i think a lot about kurt cobain because he's one of my favorite musicians 
And uh, he was one of those, like, savants. I actually have a pair of Kurt Cobain sunglasses. Hold on. Oh, this is going to be great. What the fuck was this book? I refuse to believe that Jared actually <laughs> reads. Check that shit out. <laughs> Do this in honor of Kurt, man, because he used to wear glasses like this. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They didn't exactly have rhinestones on them, but you know, I got to keep things swaggy up in here. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, uh, in all seriousness, actually, <laughs> I probably shouldn't wear these when I'm talking about serious shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, otherwise, I would, but... <laughs> so, Kurt Cobain's death. Um, I know a lot of people believe that Courtney did it, and I used to think that, too. Like, 100%, homie. I used to... I mean, 100... Does... Do do really a lot of people think that Courtney Love actually did it? I mean, there's plenty of people who have, like, theorized and shit like that, but... No, 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 my... The... I, the one of the... Ha yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, like... I, I don't... I don't think that that's necessarily people... It's something that people, like, actively consider. I think it's pretty well accepted that Kurt just did what Kurt did. percent off. Like, I used to think that... But now I'm starting to think other things, dude. And it's just my sixth sense is like beaming with this, bro. And I, I'm really starting to believe this as crazy as this is, homie. Um, uh huh. I try to get fucking comfortable here. Holy shit, man. Hit me with it, Jared. Bad. Hit me with it. So, the drummer. Uh, let's oh, no. He did not OD. No, no, no. Kurt, Kurt blew his head off with a shotgun. That's. That's just what happened. Let's talk about him, dude. Mr. Foo Fighters. Mr. Fucking, um... What's his name? Holy shit, I actually forgot his name. That's a, that's a very big brain fart right Dave there, Dave Grohl! Um, <clears throat> Dave Grohl! Well, you guys know who I'm talking about. It'll come to me eventually, but... Yeah, Mr. Fugu, uh... Mr. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, okay. I gotta... Okay, hang on. I need to back this up a second. So... Jared decided he was gonna make a fucking video. He spent the first bit of the video trying to and failing to pluck a wizard hair out of his eyebrow. Then couldn't even remember who the guy Hoopst Hoopst the guy was that he thinks killed his idol Kurt Cobain and still didn't re like re-record the whole fucking We're so bored and we're so lazy. Mr. Foo Fighters, Mr. Mr. Um... Okay, it's not coming to me. So, why do I think that maybe he killed him? Well, let's just be honest, guys. Show business, uh, the industry, you know, the entertainment industry, it changes people, dude. And I believe there is a cabal in Hollywood, okay? First of all, how do you know it changes people? How would you know? I mean, sure, we hear all the, like, behind the blow, you know, specials and shit, but, like, come on. So sue me, I'm a crazy fucking tinfoil hat, but I really do. After the stories that I've heard, and just, too, like, the subliminal messaging, you know, with the whole, ooh, you know, corny shit that people do, that you have to do, I guess, to get in. Uh, I see the signs everywhere. I know you guys see them, too, you know. All seeing eye of Horus, 666. Everyone does them, man. That's not a coincidence, dude. I don't care what you say. They're just doing a peace sign. No, they're not, motherfucker. Okay, they're saying hail Lucifer. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> we guys, are. I'm just going to be are, real though. with you, man. I, I think that this guy, whose name I fucking forget, um, he got a taste of fame, bro. And it he sold his soul for it. He did. And I think he used Kurt as a fucking blood sacrifice. 100% bro, I do. I really do fucking believe that. And uh, isn't it strange, isn't it fucking strange that uh, he recently came out a, with a movie where he actually kills his own band? Isn't that fucking strange? Isn't that hmm. isn't is weird? Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? It's so strange. He comes out with a movie where he talks about killing his own fucking band. Uh, look, I th this is what I, this is what I'll say about the Foo Fighters, okay? Their music is fucking awesome. Their music is fucking awesome. Nirvana's music was fucking awesome, sorta. 
I mean, it was great when I was a kid. Uh, on on reflection, it's like still awesome, but not you know. Eh. Foo Fighters, objectively fucking awesome. Foo Fighters fucking suck. They fucking suck. The music's awesome, but they fucking suck. The Foo Fighters helped fucking kill people because they were AIDS denialists for over 10 fucking years. And they helped and lended support to AIDS denialist groups that ended up getting people fucking dead. People fucking died. They fucking died because the Foo Fighters were helping spread a message of AIDS denialism. You don't know what I'm talking about? Look it up. It's fucking real. It's actually fucking real. Foo Fighters are amazing musicians. Their music is awesome. Dave Grohl is a Dave Grohl is a music fucking god. And fuck them. They didn't have to kill Kurt to be pieces of shit. Yeah, no, I'm serious. A couple of people that don't see it don't know about that in the fucking chat. No, for real. Look it up. Foo Fighters AIDS denialism. Fuck the Foo Fighters and fuck Dave Grohl. I love him. I think he's great. I think he's amazing. And he's a piece of shit. And they've never had to actually deal with any replications for the fact that they actually got people fucking killed because they stopped taking their HIV medication because the Foo Fighters helped a bunch of people brainwash them into thinking that HIV and AIDS wasn't even real. They did that. They did that. That's a real fucking conspiracy, and it just so happens to be true! Rather than, hey, 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 hey guys, I think you'd like to sacrifice Kurt Cobain to Satan. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck you, Jared, you're an idiot. I know a real goddamn conspiracy, and I can back it up. Yeah, dude, Miles Power. Dude. Pff, the OG, the man, Miles Power, my fucking buddy. I love that motherfucker. Miles Power did an amazing video. Uh, talking about AIDS denialism, and he talks about the Foo Fighters. He talks about the Foo Fighters and all the the bullshit that they helped to 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 make happen with that. And like, I don't think we should let people like that off the hook. I don't. The music's fucking amazing. I think Dave Grohl does great shit for music. The the whole drummer stuff, fucking great. He'll be a piece of shit until the day he dies, <laughs> you know, because of the the garbage that he did. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a dick about it, but fuck him. Sorry. That's what it is. Dick. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Yammy Jacket says, Way to have two degrees, so I hate men twice as much. But if that's the case, oh snap. We can't be star crossed lovers anymore. No, we can. You just have to secretly hate me and want to make love to me at the same time. That's how that works. That's Hollywood. Uh, no more flirting, heat attention, no wait, it's brown Mackie, no one cares at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, but still, we can have, like, that tension. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That's fine. Adam Andrew says, Daddy Jeff, you rock, and you were loved. Thank you. You were loved, too. Uh, please give a special shout-out to Ophelia. Hello, Ophelia. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I think I met the one, and she loves you, too. Rock on with your bad self. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. So we have Adam and Ophelia, and both of you happen randomly uh, to enjoy my content. Well, you two are obviously made for each other. Obviously. I think this is a fantastic idea. I'm going to co-sign on the whole thing. Uh, but you're both going to have to call my name tonight. <laughs> At the same time. At the same time. I dare you. Um, Secret Lars says, those are not Elton John glasses. Those are Elton John glasses, not Kurt Cobain. Kurt's glasses are more egg-like. I think you're right. And Darth Acuta says, I believe Miles Powers' House of Numbers dissection actually mentioned that. I think you're probably right. It's been a while since I went back and uh, figured out which one exactly that was. All right, let's watch this big whiny crybaby. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunrise on Daytona Beach. All my life, I've been a citizen of the United States of America. I was proud to live in the greatest country this planet has ever seen. I served eagerly in both military and law enforcement. Land of the free and the home of the brave was my home, or so I thought. 
Today in the 21st century, I no longer recognize America. The land of my birth has been poisoned by a cancer of wickedness. Oh no, what could that wickedness possibly be? How, how could something so powerful and strong <clears throat> be laid to waste so effortlessly? Wow, Bill, what possibly could have killed America? The United States is dying of stage four liberalism, betrayed and sabotaged by dirty politicians. And what once was a nation under God is now a nation raging against God. For 20 plus years. We, we, we should probably mention, we should probably mention that uh, Christian fundamentalism was actually in the minority with the Founding Fathers. A lot of Founding Fathers were deists. They did believe in a God, but weren't necessarily like into the, uh, the firm orthodoxy of Christianity. Uh, and also the, 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 the burgeoning and blossoming of America and its interaction therein with different sects of humanity, or humanity, d different sects of Christianity was a violent one, it was an extremely violent one that a lot of people did not agree and fucking quite literally killed each other for. So I, the, this idea of a Christian nation is really contentious. It's super contentious. Uh, right from the outset, it doesn't really hold a whole lot of water. And then, like, to think that there was, like, overwhelming just a bunch of support behind it is uh, wrong. <laughs> and people were, like, fucking killing each other because they were worshiping Christ wrong. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I have watched the USA descend into moral and ethical filth. We are now a nation where we're afraid to speak truth for fear of the godless mob. A nation where the public schools hand children over to sexual deviants. Oh. Where American citizens who have committed no- Wait, we hand children over to sexual deviants? We hand children over to the papacy? Weird. That's terrible. Because, I mean, if we're talking about numbers, ain't nobody be- <laughs> not going there you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i'm not going to get too much on my high horse about that one that's going to be an uncomfortable conversation crime are languishing in a washington dc gulag and our elections have been totally corrupted that is not the america that i grew up in but then something good happened oh. god reminded me that this world is not my home there's an old country song that goes like this this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. Okay. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. And Philippians 3.20 says this, but our citizenship is in heaven and we eagerly await a savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you're a born again Christian man or woman, you're away from home. You're just passing through this world on the way to your true home, the kingdom of heaven. So I've shifted my thinking, well, repented actually, to change my focus from being an American citizen to being a citizen of heaven, stationed in America. What well, that sounds like some treasonous talk. If, you're, if you are casting off your American citizenship and instead uh, claiming some 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 uh, homegrown uh, citizenship in some esoteric country called Haven. Haven uh, sounds a little ethnic to me. Wild Bill, how dare you? How dare you? Re just toss aside your citizenship in the United States of America for for some foreign land. I no longer feel desperate to save America. This country is in God's hands, and I am convinced that he is pouring out righteous judgment upon the USA for the sins that now dominate our culture and are getting worse by the day. As Christians, we must continue to speak bold truth, to rescue those that we and his atoning death on the cross, mm. and always keep looking forward to our real home in eternity. That's so morbid. Isn't that weird and morbid? I don't really quite understand that. This idea of like, well, I don't really like how things are right now. I'm terribly inconvenienced. And let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's say it what it is, okay? Let's not let's not beat around the bush. What Wild Bill is saying 
is I'm terribly inconvenienced because when I go on Twitter or I watch Tucker Carlson, I see things that make me feel uncomfortable and upset. There are people that believe things that I don't believe in, and it makes me, it hurts my fragile little feelings. And so because of that, because that's so offensive to me as I sit in my fucking easy boy, lazy boy fucking recliner, drinking my craft beer and sitting in my retirement villa in fucking Florida, I'm so upset. I'm so offended. All of these things in the world that mean literally nothing to me and every other material thing around me is completely static and set. These little things that I see that make me go, ew, are why I'm going to just say, I'm not going to be part of America anymore. I'm just part of uh, heaven or some stupid ass shit like that. It's so cowardly. It's so dog shit. It's, it's absolutely insane. So I did a miscalculation on my uh, my my bladder levels, and memory is uh, has deemed to rescue me. So memory holiday, everybody. Memory holiday. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Memory's not feeling very good today. She's feeling a little under the weather, but she's gonna get us started with uh with our Jillian video. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Are you excited? No. 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 Well, you got a fake excitement. Yay! <laughs> I promise I'll be quick, and uh, this is a this is a doozy too. Do I have to start the video, or can I just talk to the chat? You can just talk to the chat. I feel like I just want to talk to the chat. Yeah, just talk to the chat. Yeah, that's totally fine. I'll I'll just be a second. Yeah, go pee. Okay, thank you. Hi, you guys. <laughs> I um, am cramping really hard, so I'm not. <laughs> Not feeling greatest. How are you guys doing? Sorry, I'm not in the chat. I'm watching uh, on our TV in the living room and saving the battery on my phone, so I don't have the chat up. Oh my gosh! Oh, the '90s paper cup. Yeah, the Dixie cup. Uh, sweatpants. These are actually Jeff sweatpants that he literally never wears, but aren't they rad? They're super rad. Like, why don't you ever wear them? So I wear them instead, because he don't. But they're his. Oh, hey, Colorado biker. Uh, da 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 da. Put out a video on Julian today. Ma 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 ma. Oof, not the cramps. Yeah. So I have uh, I have a period punk play playlist. It's just like a bunch of punk songs. But it has the cramps on it. It's got, uh, oh, that's how you do that. Hi, Penny. Oh, gosh. Do you, do you want to show them the trick that you're working on? <laughs> you want to try and do it? She won't be able to do it. No, no, no. We'll She's, <laughs> Penny, you got a people. People, people. People. Oh, good people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you do it? Oh, come on. Wait, 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 wait. One more time, one more time. No, we got to People, gotta, people, people, people. On your own. Let's stand up on your own. People, 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 people. Hey. No, people. <laughs> come on. <laughs> She's good people. She's just wait. hyper. Up. There you go. There good you people. Go. There we go. Such good people. <laughs> this is my life. This is what I, it's just dogs. dogs. She's been cuddling with me on the couch. Oh, you're a good girl. Oh, what do you have to say for yourself, Penny? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Yeah? I'm not going to say anything. Yeah? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. That's what she wanted. Yeah, that's what she wanted. Yeah. Baby. Big baby. All right. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> I can't open my mouth because she'll stick her tongue down my throat. She can't open her mouth because the, the, the dog will try and clean her teeth. Like 
so cute. All right. <clears throat> oh, shit. My shit's all fucked up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. Hang on. I got this. Everything's fine. All right, cool. All right, so uh, before we uh, before we play the uh, the Jillian video, I did want to say uh, Illuminati actually uh, just came out with a video about Jillian, and it is fantastic. Um, it is very very good for my own purposes and my own reasons. I did not make that video, uh, but I uh, I'm glad that Blair did. Um, Illuminati is uh, fantastic and killing it, killing it on YouTube lately. Absolutely destroying it. So uh, props to Illuminati. Anyway, let's watch some Jillian. Like literally the spell has been broken. And that's, that was a hard, that, this has been a hard thing to uh, uncover and admit in not so many words because of who my following is. A lot of my followers are people who are Christian, who are Jewish, Catholic, um, Muslim. I mean, you name it, they're spiritual starseed, Buddhist, uh, taking on the horoscopes, always looking at their horoscopes as something to worship or something to live by. And, and it's just, it's just words, it's just words with people attached to them from years ago that someone wrote about. And I do think it's funny that she's, uh, she's talking about how diverse her, uh, followers are, um, all. 15 of them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's keep going. Focused on and developed a religion around. And that's why I, I am the way I am, because I realized that that's where it was going. Somebody even early on in the Yah world, in the Yahweh world, were, was mentioning and seeing how people were turning this into a religion, even before I even realized that was, that's what was going on. They were turning this into a religion, something to worship a new savior, you know, Jillian, the salt in the water, the new savior of our universe, the new savior saving us from cancer disease and chronic illness and autoimmune disorders. And when really that was not the case. Uh, I kind of like, I kind of like this too, because it's a little bit of a self-awareness, you know, uh, acknowledging that when she did have a big following um, at like the height of the Jilly Juice thing, there was kind of a cult of personality being built around her, and she's kind of acknowledging that, which is interesting. It's pretty interesting, but uh, keep it going. You had to feel all that stuff and feed it and release the demons and go through those processes and, and, and then realize that everything was, that was told to you by your parents, by your government, as far as religion now, actually, actually in the West, separation of church and state, but then you see in God we trust on your money. So even the government was using the word God to galvanize you and keep, keep, keep you under one kind of umbrella. But now, now that... Not like based atheist Jillian Epperly. Nah, 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 nah. She understands. No gods, no masters. All right. That's even being questioned. Now everything is in question. Everything. And what tipped us off, what started this off was the, well, not started off, but what has now given me the, the bravery, I'm going to say bravery for a reason, because you must be brave in this society to say, okay, maybe all the religions, I don't care what they are, is just another control mechanism. Mm, and yeah, that even Christianity, I mean, even it came out of right now out of Passover and out of Easter. Okay. We have everybody out there worshiping somebody or something of the past. For me to say, maybe God never existed. Maybe you are the God. Whoa, Remember whoa. Us? Hardcore based Satanist self-empowerment Jillian Epperly here. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that. What are you guys like in the hair right now? I just had, I had Mems give me a, give me a trim. Uh, yesterday, actually, is it is it working? Is it working? I'm cool with that. That's good. I gotta go on tour soon, so I gotta look dead sexy. Flip that around. It's dog, dog conditioning. Pavlov's dog. Pavlov's dogs. Wait, did she just do the? Wait, wait, wait. Did she just do the God backwards is dog. Dog backwards is God. Did she just do that thing? Did she just do the thing? Are you serious? Oh my God. 
And so, and so, <laughs> and so now with, with that Dalai Lama, that people like Richard Gere and all the Hollywood stars were in, we had movies, Brad Pitt, seven years in Tibet. And then they were showing, you know, Chinese were breaking up the Tibetan monk village out there and they were uh -huh. all, you know, Buddhist and everything. And even when you think about even in, um, in, in Hinduism, all the different gods, I mean, you have different gods to show you the, the life and the death symbolism, like Shiva, uh -huh. and you have Satan, Wait, and... Those are different religions. You know, Lucifer can be looked at as a devil type of thing. Wait, wait, too much light, too but, 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 like, like, wait, wait, so, but, but Shiva, Shiva is a multifaceted god. Shiva can be a destroyer, but Shiva can also be a buildor and fertilitor. Um, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Like, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Does does she just think that like Shiva is like the Hindu Satan? Because it's not. It's definitely not. There are quite a few Hindu gods that are a lot closer to Satan than Shiva. That's for fucking sure. Not nearly as cool though. Shiva's badass. I have Shiva tattooed on my arm. Appropriation. I know. It's fine. It's cool. Whatever. Lucifer is not Satan. Look. Hang on. I could go off on a rant for way too fucking long about how the nemesis, the enemy, Satan, Shaitan, is not in fact Lucifer, and there is no evidence whatsoever that Lucifer, son of morning, the star of morning, has nothing to do with the enemy. But we're not going to do that right now. We're not doing that right now, because this is not a theology stream, and really, damn, I want to fucking do that right now. Right now, motherfucker. Fun fact, uh, Satan, uh, for some reason, really liked to appear as animals, as a snake, and then as a herd of pigs. A lot of people forget that when they read the Bible. Uh, when Satan tempts uh, Jesus Christ, he appears as a herd of pigs. For fun. Like you do. <laughs> You're dead, right? You have to have a balance of both worlds. Mm, yeah, yeah. But every religion, every religion out there has a symbol of evil and good and evil. Yeah. And a symbol for everything. Sure. And I'm not going to be. I'm not. All right. I can't deal with these freaking people that come on here and talk to me through this video. <laughs> So, give me one second. I'm going to delete. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to include this video. <laughs> was Jillian's going off on a fucking crazy, like, pseudo-Satanist rant. Very interesting. And then she just has to stop to ban and block one of the, like, 12 people that still comments on her page. <laughs> this person because <laughs> I'm not chatting with some stranger if you don't have the they could have bought your book Jillian and they're not going to do it now you're just kneecapping yourself okay oh here we go if you don't have the the consideration to just leave just leave this alone block M you don't ask how I am <laughs> <laughs> We'll end it there. That's the current state of Jillian. I, not to say that Jillian cannot cannot necessarily be a threat. Jillian obviously can still do a whole lot of damage, but uh, uh, that that's that's like Jillian's world now is like uh, rambling in inconsistency and incoherency mixed with. Oh, I gotta block this guy. They're, they're not they're not responding to me the way I want them to respond. Oh piece of shit. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, Dolphin Jelly says, Some founding fathers, like Thomas Paine, were hardcore anti-Christian. He wrote two whole books on how stupid the Bible is. That's true. That's true. It's another thing, like, uh, and, and I do think it is worth pointing out. And I, I don't feel like I'm being hyperbolic on this. I really don't think so at all. And I know, like, there was an, an era of, like, edgy atheism and shit like that that was happening on the Internet for a while. But, uh, and I'm not trying to be an edgy atheist or anything, but uh, if I was to say what I think is the 
quintessential most dangerous thing to America right now would be the rise of Christian nationalism. I do believe that. I believe that 100% because it is a regressive form of rewriting history. It's a fetishization of what people think this country was, which it never was. Uh, It is an idealized kind of sense of what they want America to be, which was only sold in ads and newspapers and magazines for about six years, about 70 years ago. That's what they want, and they justify it with innumerable, innumerable propaganda fucking tactics and immense amounts of wealth, billions and billions of dollars, special interests, lobbyist groups pumping so much fucking money into it to try and craft a society that has never existed and never will. But in the process of them trying to do it, they will actually do a lot of damage to other people. I do think that's real. I think that's real, and I think it's fucked up, and I think people should pay attention to it. It's not a disparagement on anybody's faith. There's nothing wrong with having faith. You can have whatever faith in whatever the fuck you want. None of my goddamn business. But uh, this this overwhelming push is, it's dangerous. It's fucked up. And it is real. And it is fucking happening. <laughs> so just saying, man. Just saying. It is, uh, it's a fucking thing. Anyway, let's uh, let's check in on the, uh, the Puppet Man. We're almost done. You saw me a few minutes ago on uh, uh, YouTube. Said uh, two years ago. Huh. <laughs> I forgot I existed. I didn't even know I was, you know, here, but I exist. I'm right here. I'm real. Well, anyway, uh, I was talking about the Declaration of Independence in this other video, and I guess that's me. I don't know what my name is. Anyway, uh, I'll talk about the Declaration of Independence anytime, any place, anywhere. Let's do it. Let's talk and about debate it. Debate it. Debate me, yeah. bro. Debate me, anyway, uh, you fucking puppet. I can also do the uh, Abraham Lincoln speech. You know, four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth this kind of nation which con- conceived in liberty and dedicated the proposition all men to create eagle. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm not really good on the Constitution. You know, I know there's articles and stuff. Okay. But, uh, anyway, I think we can make a new Constitution easy enough. We, the people! Okay. Yeah, I think we could make a new constitution pretty goddamn easy. This is Steve Pennington, yes. This is Steve Pennington. Yeah. The puppet is a master debater. Indeed. Indeed. I love that he's like, I know the Declaration of Independence, but I don't really know the constitution. Oh. (laughs) Okay. All right. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Excuse my French. It's not French. I guess some prejudice against the French people, making fun of them as being cussers. They just cuss all the time. Anyway, back to uh, the Declaration of Independence. You know, we don't have to cut heads off, you know, like the French people do. No, no, no. We'll just, we'll just, uh, well, I don't know. we could if you want to. You know, I don't know. Uh, who cares? Dead is dead, you know? Oh, you uh-huh. perverts! Uh-huh. Wicked, evil, 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 evil people! Uh-huh. They need a killing! That's what the Declaration of Independence says to me. We are soldiers, and we're going to war! That's all I have to say about that. So the Declaration of Independence to you is that you're soldiers, and you have to kill, 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 and cut some heads off. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fautra de mer. Indeed. Uh, Okay. All right, we got two videos left. Two videos left. And look, I, here, spoiler alert, there's no P. There's no P this roundup. I'm sorry. Wait, if I get a chance while I'm on the road to do a little live live show, I promise I'll bring some P, okay? Your boy, your boy will bring the pee pee, okay? I'll bring the pee pee. I'm hitting the road, and I'm bringing the pee pee with me. Ah, the fuck. Okay, anyway, this video is awful. Just watch it. All right, tell me your name. <laughs> Ruth. He. Ruth, and how old are you today? 102. 102. So you mm. were born in... 1918. 1918. 
And um, <laughs> we're gonna find some time and piss. For those who don't know, in the in the chat, Colorado biker, that's my boss for my my tours that I I do uh, during the summer. That's my boss, and he's he's fucking amazing. His name is Bear. Everybody in the chat, say hi, Bear. Uh, and uh, he and I will be uh, will be on the road together here pretty soon. We're gonna have a good time, and uh, we're gonna make some content while we're out there. We were just talking, and I asked you what what shape the Earth is, and what did you say? What were you taught in school when I in was elementary taught school? In school, that the Earth was flat. And and then what what do you remember when they changed it to a globe? Well. When it, they changed it, I remember when they changed it, but I can't remember the okay. date or anything like that. And did you believe them? Yes, I did. You, you did? Now, I, I, you fool! You stupid old young. bitch, you fool! Right, and we all, we all were told by people that we trust. That's right. Where did you go to school, <laughs> Ele elementary school? I went to Spurgeon School in Hamden, Connecticut. I lived on a farm and grew up with all kinds of animals. No electricity, a big white farmhouse. Amazing. And we had a walk to school. Look at this fucking ghoul. Not her, she's lovely, she's wonderful. I love her, she's great. Um, she, I don't know, she needs more pudding in a nap or something, I don't know, it's fine. But this guy, watch his fucking face. What a fucking ghoul. What a ghoul. What a nasty, ghastly fucking piece of shit. Ghoul. We didn't have a bus to take us to school. We had to walk to school and walk home through all bad weather. Um. Yes, Ames, I will say something special for you because you are one of my mods and I love you. What do you want me to say? Anyway, let's watch, let's, let's listen to Gladys. It was, living on the farm was a life of, yeah, I can't explain it. So it, getting back to, to the flat earth, um, you said that you're religious, that, that yes. you, that you, uh, you follow the Bible. Yes, I do. And, and are you aware that the Bible is all about the flat earth, that, God put the foot, you know, the, uh, the earth on the footstool and separated the waters from the waters and created the firmament. If you, huh? Sh 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 sure? You, if you read Genesis, I'm not the Bible guy. I have friends that are so good at it, but there's over 200 verses in the Bible that refer to a flat earth. That's right. And there's only, I think there's only one verse that mentions Earth is a circle, but just like this table right here, that table is a circle, right. but it's flat. That's right. Right. That's right. That table is flat and a circle. Amazing. A, a circle is different than a sphere. A sphere is the same in every direction. That's a, right. The circle of the Earth. So. So how does it make you feel to realize that you were right as a kid? Uh, it makes me feel better. It, it does make you feel better, right? Oh, it makes me feel alive. My hope, oh my God, that is- Jesus fucking Christ. Ugh. Ugh. Jesus, I swear to God. I, I, I hate this repulsive troglodyte of a fucking human being. So nasty, so mean. Leave that poor old woman alone. She has done enough. 102 years old, she has done more than three people, okay? I I, I just, I, I, I cannot, I cannot. I fucking hate that shit. It's so gross. Do I think that he infiltrated a, uh, a retirement home just so he could find somebody to do that? Yes, I do. You thought I would remember I always marinate your beef curtains? Oh. Is that what you wanted me to say? Okay. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, <laughs> Secret Lars, why is Jeff dressing like a 1950s greaser? Because it really greases the wheels, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, Secret Lars, 
Satan also likes to appear as Santa. Little known fact, that's true. Dorothy Ishida, I'm yelling at the TV now. Thanks, Jeff. Well, that's that's what you pay me for. That's what you pay me for. Indeed, indeed. Uh, let's see. I baby this get it out. <laughs> <coughs> I laughed way too hard at you calling a 102 year old senior citizen a stupid old bitch. <laughs> Be I safe did not. on your trip. BTW, are there any plans to bring back midweek mimosas? All the best to y'all, Dr. Holiday. Aw, thank you, Goth Parrot. I really appreciate you. That's very, very sweet. I don't know if there's going to be any more midweek mimosas. I will say, so. Uh, because of uh, like possible scheduling issues, I might have a big stint in the middle of the summer where there's not a lot going on. Maybe me and Mems can do like a little project together. That'd be pretty fun. It'd be pretty fun. Um, so we'll 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 see. We'll see. Maybe we can make something happen. Secret Lara says the Earth isn't round. It is in fact an ob oblate spheroid. Indeed, indeed, it is. Uh, so I poured this as uh, a little special treat. It is some of the Hibiki. Uh, I'm about halfway through the bottle now, so if anybody else wants to send me some Hibiki, that'd be much appreciated. <laughs> um, ooh, yeah, maybe me in Colorado can do a cocktail hour on his channel. That'd be fun. So I will, uh, I'll sip on this fantastic Japanese whiskey, uh, and we will watch the last video, which is just going to piss you off. It's just going to make you fucking mad. Super, super fucking mad. Like I got mad. And so I'm just sharing it with you. Ah, and we'll, we'll, we'll read that one here in just a minute. This last video is only a minute long, so here we go. And, okay. So, fun fact. What I tend to do if there are videos that come from, like, Instagram or Twitter or whatever... I will download them and I will upload them on my second channel, my political channel, and I'll leave them unlisted. Twice now, videos that we have shown on the Roundup, I have uploaded unlisted on the second channel and I've gotten strikes for them. I got a strike for this fucking video. This video, unlisted, nobody watched it, I appealed both times and I got fucking strikes for them. So no more streams on my second channel for at least two months, maybe three, just to be safe because YouTube is fucked. And like that, that sucks. That I'm, I'm going to be honest, it hits me financially pretty bad too. But like that is so fucked. So for now, when I upload videos that I think might be contentious, I'm going to have to upload them to BitChute, to my BitChute account. And, like, watch them through there. Like, that's fucked up. I do not want to lose a channel just because I'm trying to, like, debunk stuff. And YouTube is a fucking moron. So, anyway, here we go. Will Blenderfield. When I say that, you know, HIV has never been isolated or proven to cause disease, people get really in a tizzy. They get their knickers in a knot, as it were. And they say, well, what about all the gay guys who died in the 80s? And like, first of all, before we even get into whether or not it's been, it, like, uh, the, the people died or not, HIV is the single most studied virus in the history of fucking ever. There is no virus on this planet that is better studied and better understood than HIV. None, bar none, has been isolated countless times it's just a fucking lie. It's a lie. Will is lying. Oh, and uh, ba bing. You know, what about Freddie Mercury? Well, they killed Freddie Mercury. Oh, they, they killed, killed him. They killed him with AZT and other experimental drugs that oh. were shelved in the 60s for being too toxic for the animals. They killed all the animals in the trial. So let's give that to the fat and the Hispanics and the blacks. It's literally what they did. They set up testing centers in the poorest areas. Uh, of major city centers like San Francisco and Vancouver and New York and they had their motto was test 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 It's the exact same playbook as what's happening now with the COVID. You see HIV is like COVID 
in that it's fake and not real, and I don't like to think about it, so it's all a big conspiracy, right, Will? Uh, fraudulence that's going on. The test is, doesn't mean anything. HIV and COVID have never been isolated or proven to cause disease. Yes, they have. 100% over and over again, repeatedly. And they're suppressing all the people who are speaking the truth. All the gay guys who realized the hoax was going on and didn't take the drugs, they're all still alive. No, they're not. Right? But they suppress them and censor them, so you think that everybody just died. So anyway, that, that, like that's that's my that's that's my encapsulation on this sort of thing. Um, we we kind of had like a moment in the in the roundup where where Will Blunderfield, wild naked man, was talking about how triggered he was because people were using pronouns. And now now he's just going full blown HIV fucking denialism and shit. And really, because the stupid bald motherfucker decided to block me. I don't feel like I need to be nice to him anymore. So instead, I'm just going to say, fuck you, you stupid, ignorant-ass bitch. HIV was a fucking pandemic. It was terrible. So many people suffered and died because of god-awful, terrible legislation run by a bunch of overt Christian fucking jackasses thinking that it was the punishment of God to punish all of the queers and the gay people. That's what fucking happened. We know what happened. It's all there. All the evidence is there, and we understand it. It's the number one most categorically studied virus in the history of mankind. We know exactly where it comes from. We know exactly how it works, and we know what kind of drugs actually help with it. The invention of ARVs, antiretrovirals that managed to make people have not a death sentence with HIV was one of the greatest, most amazing inventions when it comes to biomedicine in, in ever, in decades. It, it changed something from being a legit death sentence to something where people could live still with it a long and happy life. That is a success story that we should be applauding. There should be a fucking yearly day of celebration that we managed to stop that. We should be celebrating this. But instead, you got some dumb fuck from fucking Toronto who runs around and tries to make an excuse so he can rub his fucking dick against another dude's fucking dick. Bone to bone, brother, brother, tip to fucking dick. Like, you stupid, ignorant fucking cocksucker. You fucking jackass. You stupid piece of shit. How dare you in your overprivileged fucking life living now in this era where none of this actually has to affect you to just spread all of your stupid ignorant, dumb fuck fucking hate because you just want to sell a fucking brand. You want to make money on the internet. You scum. You fucking parasite. Fuck you. Also, fuck the Foo Fighters. Anyway, so, officially, my love affair with Will Bunderfield is, uh, it's over. <laughs> and I hope I'm clear. I hope I'm clear. So anyway, <clears throat> yeah, Live Aid. Live Aid was incredible. Some of the best performances in music history ever happened at Live Aid. Oh my God, fuck Queen at Live Aid. If you ever get, a, if you're ever bored and you love music like I do, watch the entire performance of Queen at Live Aid. Just, it'll blow your fucking mind. It'll change your fucking religion, man. Incredible stuff. Great stuff. All right. Anyway. Uh, so last but not least, we should talk a little bit more about like the, the whole process. So obviously we had the roundup in the middle of the month. That's because I'm on my way, uh, off to go do, uh, tours and, uh, I will maybe be available in the Memphis area and the New Orleans area, uh, later on this month into early May. If anybody is in those areas and you're interested in maybe hanging out, getting a beer, Leave me a comment in the description down below. But other than that, um, I think that's pretty much it. Do we have any messages that we have to address? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, dark, dork side of the great. I'm not with him. Also, are we not talking about the hetero Christian politician that wants adults to be able to marry 12-year-olds? It's funny. There is a politician. And he does want to legalize marrying 12-year-olds. 
And oddly, he's a Christian fundamentalist Republican. You can look that up. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, that's about it. Like, subscribe. I uh, appreciate all that sort of stuff. I love you guys very much. I'm going to try and find a moment uh, on the tour, maybe when I have like my own little motel room or something like that uh, next week. Maybe we'll do like a little a little show, a little shoe. We'll have a good time. Um, but other than that, I want to make sure, even though I knew we weren't going great, to get great numbers today, that it would be something out there for you guys, if you didn't get to catch it live, to maybe carry you forward, and uh, we'll pick it back up again. We're going to have a lot of good times. It's going to be a great fucking summer. And if I don't see you before, I'll see you next time at the end of May for the Wing Nut Roundup. I love you guys so much. You are amazing. Your continued support is what gets my nipples. Rock fucking hard. All right, I'm out of here. Bye, everybody. Have a great time. Love you. Love you. Let's tongue kiss. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing ass. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have the trade deuce and the deuce deuce in my bubble goose. Now I got.